this crime city. Oh, so much crime in this year city of ours. All of it, for some reason, keeps connecting back to me, and I don't understand why. Almost every single crime that happens in the city has a connection to me. And I do, and that doesn't make any sense because I haven't done anything wrong to my knowledge. It all ties back to me. I'm the common denominator between all of these incidents. But I'm almost positive I did not do any of them. Hmm. All I can say is that in a city with no crime, how is there any jobs for a detective to have? <laughs> this, what would I do all day if not for the crimes that happened here every day? How would I? How, well, I would be out of business. I need crime to exist so I can solve it. So I can hand in my piece of paper that says I know who did it and tell on them. I have to tattle. I have to tattle. I must. It's in my blood. It's in my veins. I have to snitch. Now... When I say modded, I mean it's a pretty light pile of mods here, but they have massive implications and massive, massive impact. Specifically, we are doing two things. One, a big old city, uh, literally four times larger than the largest city you can make in the game. There are just about 1,900 civilians in this city. Looking up stuff in the phone book actually takes a little bit. Now, on top of that, I've enabled murder. <laughs> and I don't mean for crimes. I mean... I mean I can murder them. Now, I'm not saying I'm gonna do that, but... It'll keep me from doing my silly, wacky stunts where I just hit someone over and over and over again and never actually get punished. It's gonna be a lot harder to solve a crime if I accidentally kill the only witness in a freak accident that no one really could have seen coming. Will you have a detective going after you when you murder? The only person that could bring me in is me. The only person that could bring me in is me. And God damn it. Maybe one day, but not today. Not today, but one day. Is there a larger inventory mod yet? You don't need a larger inventory mod, you just need to get better at playing the game and find the thing that lets you expand your inventory. FULL! It's already in the game, you just didn't find it. You don't need that much inventory space in this game unless you're stealing things, to be honest. Also, I kind of have come around to liking the smaller inventory because it keeps you, uh, keeps you on your toes and makes you think about what you actually need to do. It makes the economy even somewhat relevant for a fucking second. Makes the apartment useful, too, if you have one. Unfortunately, with this being a new city, I'm back to being homeless, but really, I think that I'm at my best when I'm a dumpster detective. Just living on the streets with the people. Just on the streets. With the people. Hobo cop.
What about the vents? Dude, I might ban myself from using the vents even though I said vent stream. Vents are so OP in this game. They're so OP. They are OP. And honestly, as a detective, I should be the last person that's sus. You know? I should be the least sus one. Everything I should do, everything I do should be above board. And, and public knowledge. That's a lie, Superstar Cop is the best cop. Everyone knows Superstar Cop is the best cop. Oh, you can be both. You can be both, dude. Look, it's gonna be a fun time. I honestly have not played, despite this definitely being my favorite indie game of the year so far, I've not played a lot of it because I've just been enjoying the time that I play it on stream and then just kind of leaving it at that. So I'm like, I'm having this thing where I like, I'm still, it's still very fresh to me, which I'm, I am happy about. So now I'm going to be going in. Dude, there's a lot of people in this city. Like, it's a big fucking city. There's like, it's like eight blocks by eight. Like, it's a, it's a big fucking city. But there's people everywhere. And like, every building has like actual fucking traffic going on and shit. It's, but it's not like, it's not a level of traffic where it's like, holy shit. What frame rate does it run at? Not bad, but it probably wouldn't run well for you. <laughs> I... I, this is certainly a level of size where if you didn't have a exclusive streaming hardcore PC that's total overkill, it may not run well. I'm being realistic with, with you right now. Will I insert anything here, run it? I can't answer that for you, but I already have hitches and I know I'm at the top of the line, so, um, if you aren't also at the top of the line, I'm going to assume it's going to run worse. Dang, was stoked about playing this on my deck. Dude! But then again, here's the thing. Uh, it runs a lot slower when you're first moving around the city because you have to generate everything one time. Once everything's in and placed on the map, it runs a lot better. So, uh, your mileage may vary. Honestly, it's more reliant on your CPU than your GPU, this game, so. You might be able to. Definitely base game, you could probably run that on the deck. Although I can't imagine navigating the, like, detective UI on the fucking Steam Deck. I don't know why people even ask instead of just trying. People a act like I'm Google, uh, and that's just a streamer thing, is uh, people will ask me questions as if I know it all. And I appreciate the confidence in me, but you had to type the same message. <laughs> at, at the end of the day, you typed it, so you could have typed it into the bar at the top, too. You know what I mean? Okay, Jeeves. Omega Low. Did you just call me Jeeves? Did you just call me Jeeves? Jeeves moment. What? Buh. Please, he's more like Echinator. I am, dude. I'm definitely, I gotta be realistic. I'm more of a Jeeves, I think, because Echinator would mean that I have bulletproof fucking prediction skills, which I don't. That's like actually wild that you would compare me to Akinator. I'm probably more of a, a Jeeves. <laughs> T 
tomato is more of a bonzy buddy. Holy shit. You're just picking the meanest thing to say to me. Like, you're not- it doesn't even have any, like, fucking relevance to me at all. You're just picking the meanest thing you can say. And, like, running with it. You're just grabbing the meanest one. Okay, Clippy, go fuck yourself. Okay, go fuck yourself. On God's day? On the day of our Lord Jesus Christ, you're gonna come at me? Why? 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 Professor Helper Tier Knowledge. <laughs> that was a deep cut right there uh stop stop being mean to me chat you know how little strength i have nowadays ever since the incident ever since the horrible incident that left me withered and weak why are you pushing me around? Which one? That's the worst part. There's multiple. Imagine how much weaker I am now. What with there being multiple incidents that have beaten me down. I'm barely hanging on. I've actually been doing really good at one thing though, dude. I haven't had like a single, like all these Sundays, these Sundays are usually my post VR nightmare days. I have been fucking powerful, dude. Like I don't get hangovers anymore, man. I don't even get them anymore. I, I don't have hangovers. I don't get like the fucking like, I don't have any of the post alcohol, nothing. I have become incredibly powerful. It took my body a bit of time to get there. But I'm finally an, a, a fully functioning alcoholic. <laughs> and now I just don't feel any of the, uh, the bad byproducts of drinking a ton of alcohol I've gotten there. <laughs> My liver has stopped complaining about it. Ugh. Wasted skill points. <laughs> Ouch. You think? Nah, dude. I don't drink a lot of alcohol. I am- I'm- I'm on the lighter side. Honestly. I don't think I'm getting horrible headaches or like hangovers or anything post- Saturdays because I actually just don't drink as much during them anymore. I figured out this thing where like once you're feeling a little a little silly, you can kind of stop drinking. Like I I'm there already. I don't need to add more to make me more silly. I already got there. So I just kind of stop now. And then I just drink water. And then I just drink water. It's called being reasonable, dude. So you're always drunk? Yuck, dude. I don't think I could stream if I was drunk. I don't think I could fucking do that, dude. That would fuck me up. There's no, like genuinely chat. Fucking swear to God. No joke. I've only drank on stream, on Twitch, on my channel, once. Like, actually, like, on God, I've only drank once on stream. On my channel. There's plenty of... There's tons of examples of me getting fucking sloshed on Kraken's channel, I know that. But, uh, there's only one time I actually drank on my channel. Oh god, Monkey Ball Stream. Monkey Ball Stream? I don't remember drinking much on Monkey Ball Stream. I remember drinking during golf nights. I remember golf night streams fucking me up. Dude, I used to be- I used to go hard, dude. <laughs> I used to go hard. 
Not anymore. I'm, uh, I'm stronger now. Witness me. Dude, the shit that people think is funny, and then when, like, I go back to see what the funny thing was I did when I was drunk, it's, like, the cringiest fucking awful thing ever, and people are like, that was the funniest shit I ever saw, and I'm over here going, like, holy shit, I really wish this thing never existed ever. That's honestly why I stopped drinking on, like, uh, <laughs> that's why I wanted to stop doing drinking streams so much with everyone, because, like, I hate... I hate seeing clips of that crap. That's because your sense of humor is wrong. <laughs> That's because there's something wrong with you. You don't get it. Only drunk you gets it. What the? Drunk you is the funnier streamer. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> I'm, I'm the funny one, dude. That's not true. <laughs> you don't mean that. I have exactly... Dude, I have this miserable spiced rum next to my fucking desk that I only drink as punishment for when I... For when I, <laughs> I should throw it out. It's awful. It's like it's like I, I I drink it when I don't want to drink something good for some reason. If I'm drinking, it's awful. It actually it <laughs> it's not good. It's not. I don't know why I keep it around, but it's almost gone. It's almost gone. The spice is malort. You want to know why I think I hate it so much? I think it's because it kind of tastes like the malort. You know what? Hang on. I remember the flavor of Malort perfectly because I submerged my face in it. You know how like if, if you get so deep into something like that, like submerge your whole head into something like Malort, the scent and smell and like the flavor of that thing is something that your brain can never really get out. Like it's burned. I feel like if I took a tiny sip of this and just let it sit in my mouth for a second, I would just taste nothing but that nasty wood from the Malort. I feel like, I feel like that's why I hate it is that whenever I would sip that shit, as it passes through my mouth, it gives me fucking, it gives me accents of Malort. Dude, it changed me. If you want to know when I changed entire arcs in my life, it's when they made me bob for apples in Malort. <laughs> I went in. The me on that camera died. <laughs> he died when his head went under the water. The horrible, horrible water. <laughs> it's Joker chemicals. <laughs> <laughs> so you're telling me I got I had those the Malort incident was my Joker moment where I got submerged in funny juice. That's fucked. Hang on, how hard is it to order Malort online? I feel like chat, it's like it's like going like, here's the thing. 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 Hear me out. No, hear me out for just a goddamn second. I have to confront my demons eventually, you know? You know, it's like, I, I, this thing has been following me for so long. If I buy it and, like, actually confront it, then maybe I can take it down. <laughs> Want to know how I got these chronic medical issues? <laughs> He's insane. Well, here's the thing. Surely Malort doesn't sell for more than $5 a bottle. <laughs> Let me just see. A Chicago icon. Okay. Let's, uh... Jesus! I'm not gonna buy the fucking $27 bottle. 
I don't think so. I don't think so, Jepson. I don't honestly think that's on the table. Hmm. Oh, this one's fun. Hang on, I can buy a six pack of 50 milliliter Malorts and then I can give the rest to people I hate. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Wait, that's fun. Yeah, I can get, I can get that and then hand the rest out to people I loathe. <laughs> like I'm, like I'm fine. <laughs> the Joker guest. Yeah, I could just spike those bottles in people's faces and watch them go crazy, sicko, insane. Cuckoo crazy. Just spike it in their face and they'll just start going. This is good, actually. I think that's what I'm going to do. Damn. Joker and Scarecrow. You see, what's, here's the thing though, chat. It, if I get the six pack of the mini ones, I can also use them to casually figure out if someone's a sicko. Because if I like give someone I know like a lovely liqueur and I do not describe to them that this is Malort, something that should be categorized as poison, and they go, mmm, then I know quietly in my brain never to talk to them or hang out with them ever again until the day I die. You know? And if they spit it out in my face and they say, What did you just put in? What is this? Then I'll apologize and uh, tell them that it was just Malort. And then they'll figure out what it is. And then they'll. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's no worse than an IPA. I'm going to be real about one thing it's just the idea that you're paying more money to drink poison like an IPA. Like, if I want to drink freaking nasty, like, piss drink i just get an ipa wrong dude i i live out in an area where there's supposed to be good ipas and i'll tell you what my old man fucking slams ipas and i'll tell you what again i've given them a thousand tries all right every i'll try it again in two days when the fourth of july comes around and we're all sitting around the Grill. I'm gonna take a sip and spit it out in front of them. <laughs> Cause it's awful. It's awful every time. Jesus. Like I don't. Can someone that's actually... All right, all right, all right. No judgment here. Who here actually likes Malort? Uh, not Malort. Fucking IPA. Everyone hates Malort. Who likes IPAs? <laughs> who, who here likes an IPA? A, 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 a nice ice-cold bottle of IPA. No judgment. Now explain why. <laughs> now explain why. Because, like... I can go down the list of reasons I like certain kinds of, like, liquor. I can tell you why I like... Like, I actually like the flavor of whiskey. Like, I, I will I will enjoy the flavor of a good whiskey. On its own. But, can't figure out... IPAs taste like... Yeah, IPAs taste like grass. Like, they taste like dirt. <laughs> like, they taste like dirt. <laughs> Like that's that's the problem. Is it feels like someone accidentally spilled the drink on the ground and then scooped it all back into the bottle and didn't tell me? Is what IPAs taste like? Does that make sense? Maybe. Hang on. I think I'm gonna. If I go out, I know there's an IPA in the fridge, and I know if I open it. I'm going to take one sip and then pour it all into a sink and get rid of it and waste it. But I feel like I need like a fresh fucking take because it's been about a year since I've tried an IPA. I feel like I need to like swish one around in my mouth so I can get the flavor profile down. Do it. It's just, I don't even have a bottle opener in my fucking room, dude. 
impromptu drunk stream. I'm not turning on my webcam for that. There's no fucking way. You know how hot it is in this office today? Hot. I'm a mess. IPAs are for people who think cilantro tastes like soap. <laughs> Special taste buds. Yeah, maybe. Actually, honestly, maybe they do just taste something we don't. Wait, that's actually smart. Huh. Cilantro tastes like leaves. Yeah, no, that's actually the realest fucking thing anyone's ever said. <laughs> like, I'll get, I'll have, if cilantro is on something I'm eating, I'll be like, yeah, there's cilantro. And when I bite it, like when I taste cilantro on its own, I'll be like, dude, I could have gotten this by eating grass on the ground. Like, I could have gotten this flavor by eating the grass. Probably. I don't have soap, Gene. It doesn't taste like soap. It just... It's not a remarkable flavor to me. I've never... Cilantro has never tasted, like, nasty. It just... It's... Like, there's, like, a thousand better things for me to, like, put on something than cilantro. Is the problem. The fuck is wrong with you? It tastes great on food. So entree is just kind of boring to me. It's just a boring flavor. Do you have the asparagus piss gene? What the fuck did you just ask me? Jeez. What? The hell did you just say to me? You are gaslighted into liking cilantro or being accused of having soap gene. There really is only one option. Like, you can only be one or the other. You can't say you can taste cilantro and also not like it. Because if anyone hears that, they're going to say, Oh, you, can't, you just don't like it because you literally can't taste it. That's fucking sad and I feel bad for you. That's fucking sad. Are you okay? Subhuman. It's kind of sad to think about how just deprived and pathetic the life of someone who can't taste that good leaf is. You playing Stellaris anytime, or I played Stellaris once. Uh, I got overwhelmed immediately by the fact that nothing paused. And then I was told I had done everything wrong and every single person on every planet I owned was dying of starvation. And then a big ship flew up to my planet and I think blew it up in front of me. And all I could do was scream. And then I found out it was the other person I was playing with and they had just done it out of like a mercy killing because they knew I didn't know what was going on and wanted an out so I could stop playing. Which was very cool of them because I left immediately afterwards and thanked them. Forexes are one of those things where it's like if you play a forex and you know what you're doing, you have a good time. But if you're playing a forex with someone who wants to play a forex and knows what they're doing and you don't know what you're doing and you fuck up at all, you are absolutely miserable and you feel like you can't leave because the other person's having a good time. So you're just stuck there, like going like, haha, I know what's happening. Click, click, click. Tick every box that it says you can tick with every financial option you have, not actually knowing what any of it does. That's me. That's what I do when I don't know how to play a Forex. I'll just do every single thing that the game says I can do and purchase and buy until maybe I somehow come out on top. And then someone will look at my base or my planet and they'll see what I have and they'll cringe. And then when I ask them what I can do better, they'll just say, just you're doing all right. Don't worry about it because they don't have the heart to tell me that I literally don't know what I'm doing at all. <laughs> it's really hard to explain to there's a level of like there's a there's a level of like when you clock someone's doing something horribly wrong. 
in a multiplayer game, you don't want to tell them because like you don't want to embarrass them. You know what I mean? And that's like the 4X experience, I think, is being more inv like informed than someone else and being like, how much can I tell them before they feel like the dumbest fucking moron I've ever seen? Like, how much can I explain to them before they clock that they were an idiot for the last five hours and literally lost before they even got the ball rolling? Me playing Factorio with friends. Dude, you couldn't fucking trick me into playing Factorio with anyone other than I think Benji and like Bed and Lolman. Anyone else? I don't think they know how to play. Like, here's the pro. <laughs> I don't need to go into detail about the Dave loop again. I think Dave did pick it back up and he did better, but I mean, I saw the loop. <laughs> I saw the loop. I, 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 I saw the loop. I th here's the thing. Here's the thing. I, it's actually not fair. I think I could play Factorio with like friends that don't know what they're doing, but like for the first hour, I would have to kick back and watch them to see how they format a base. Because if they start making a goddamn loop, loop context. So I was trying to teach Dave how to play Factorio because I really wanted to play it with him. We we're just like hanging out that day. Um, and usually when you play Factorio, the first thing you do as a team is you go like, okay, I'm going to like set up coal and I'll be the guy who sets up coal and rocks. And I'm going to like get all the automation done for those things and make sure those things are sent to you. So I was doing coal and like, I think rocks and like, like the water steam power. And Dave was getting the iron and copper going. And I left him to it because I was like, I'm not gonna, I don't want to babysit him. That's not gonna be fun for him to have a babysitter playing this game. Uh, I walk up to him about 30 minutes later and I'm like wondering why like nothing's happening and we're not getting like any research done. Cause he's like saying he knows what he's doing and he's like, he's building things. And I can see on the mini map that stuff is being placed, but I was like, not really sure what was going on. So I was like, ah, oh, fuck. I'm going to go up and I'm going to like try to gently nudge him in the right direction if stuff's not going well. He isn't doing like a normal base design. He is doing what he described as the loop, which is every single resource, including the coal line, every ore, every constructed assembled resource regurgitates back into this disgusting circle of conveyors. And then... When you need something from the loop, you simply have a grabber grab it from the loop. Now, within about five seconds, the loop was at maximum capacity and could not hold anything else. And that is the ultimate problem with the loop is that Dave made a fucking unlimited sushi belt. Like he, he made a fucking sushi belt. <laughs> this dude's there's just this sushi belt looping around of garbage and there's no way for any of it to get anywhere and there's a moment that you have to clock in any kind of logistics video game that you're playing with friends where you accept that there is no way you can play it with them and for me it was the loop there was a, a fundamental distance between our two brains in that game that could never be, it could never be overcome. And that's okay. I think that of all the games to like clock early that it's not gonna click for like two people, even if like your best fucking buds, uh, it's a game like Factorio cause you're gonna fucking end up hating your friend if you play that game with them and you're not on the same page. You're gonna loathe them. He's got loop brain. Everyone has their own logistic strategy. Yeah, it's like, uh, Benji's more my speed on, uh, on Factoria. Aside from that one time that he tried to sit me down and explain to me how he made a perfect distribution belt over the course of actually seven minutes and I disassociated.
He's got like engineer brain. He like was so excited to tell me about it. And I disassociated and I walked away mid explanation. And I walked up to Gmart who was just riding around in a circle on a belt. It was like the, it was truly the two opposites. Gmart was just AFK slowly rotating around a conveyor belt at the same time. <laughs> yeah one day one day genuinely i would love to do a like super hardcore modded factorio stream with like a couple of friends that are all on the same page like with like the super like evolving bugs but the thing is that it's just going to become like a nightmare for like chat like i would basically not be able to have chat open because everyone has a fuck like factorio is one of those games that everyone has a fucking opinion on there's not one person that ain't gonna be like um streamer uh, what the fuck are you doing right there? You need to move that left so that you can get the input line right there, dude. You're mixing it up. It's not optimal. I know your game better than you, which is probably true for a lot of people. I mean, then again, I firmly believe uh, Maybe about 20% of the people that play Factorio have ever made it past trains before losing interest and then coming back like a month later and restarting the whole thing because you don't know what happened. Because you don't know how to do your base anymore after a month. I don't believe like 20, like more than 20% of people that play that game get past trains before like just quitting, coming back a month later because they burned out too hard because they played it for like 18 hours straight. That's me, dude. That's me a lot of the time. I've gotten farther before on mods, but, uh... Yeah. One day Satisfactory will be done, and I'll do that with friends, and that'll be a good time. The highest earned achievement is trigger an alien attack via pollution, and it's at 62%. So, yeah, that definitely doesn't make it... That doesn't... That's not good odds, then. I mean, here's the thing, though. In a game like Factorio, no doubt, there are people that do the first five minutes of the game and then say, not for me, and then forget to refund it. Right? So, you lose about, like, probably a third of the player base immediately with that, because that game's for a certain kind of sicko. And then you got you start thinning it out even more. 25% of players have been run over by a train. That means 25% of players have built a train. That is true. Uh, there's not one person that's built a train in Factorio that hasn't immediately been run over by it the same hour. So <laughs> that's a pretty good filter there. Mods also disable achievements. True, true. These are all true things. True. Yes. So how about that Callisto Protocol DLC that's getting critically acclaimed? If I go on Steam for Callisto Protocol and I go to the DLC, is it going to say overwhelmingly negative on it? Is it going to say overwhelmingly negative or positive? Because, dude, which one is it? Final transmission? Why do I already own this? Oh yeah, I got the game sent to me. I got like, I, I got the code for the game. Yeah, I was like, why do I have the season pass for this fucking garbage? Because I got it sent to me. I got a key to this. <laughs> I was like, I know I definitely didn't buy this. So like, what's the final transmission even about? Is it still the guy? I didn't even finish the game. Yeah, I just don't care about it. I just truly don't care. That game had so much potential. Damn. 
Like, it actually makes me sad to think about it. Why not play the Dead Space remake? Remakes are not the same as playing a new game. I don't care what people say. I don't care how much the remake changes from the base game. There is still a completely different experience of, like, truly playing a new IP and experiencing that. Or, like, a new game. Alright? Like, I... De nothing in Dead Space's remake caught me off guard ever because I knew the game. I knew I, I played the original. Like, yeah, there's some stuff that was visually more compelling or like interesting and I was invested and I was enjoying the gameplay, but like I didn't beat that either because I'd never beat remakes. <laughs> I literally never beat remakes unless I didn't play the original game. Usually remakes are just like a fun little like amusement park ride where I look at all the new things they did and I point and say, ooh, RE4 remake did never play through the original game, which is why I beat it on the remake. Though I will say, stepping away from RE4 remake, I still thought Resident Evil 4 was relatively overrated. And there were parts of it that I took great issue with compared to Resident Evil 2, which I liked a lot more. I like the Resident Evil 2 remake a mile more. Like, easily. Opinion detected, D colon. I didn't think RE4 remake was bad. I just didn't really think it was. It wasn't my favorite. I didn't have the nostalgia goggles a lot of other people have for RE4. Because I never played it. So, I was playing it as if it were a brand new game. And in the context of that with no attachment to the original whatsoever. It was just okay. Doesn't take a lot for my opinion of a game to be tanked really hard by one bad sequence and the castle siege where you're getting like catapults shot at you and stuff on like the hardest difficulty, which I shouldn't have been playing on. Uh, to be realistic, but that doesn't change the fact that even on easier difficulty, that sequence sucks. Uh, that was enough for me to be like, uh, points off. Castle Siege with like the catapults, actual points off. Immediately. Points off. Terrible. It's terrible. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a petty piece of shit. It takes one bad sequence in a game for me to be like, this is all I'm going to think about. Like that shit stays in my head, like bad, bad levels in a game. One bad level, one bad sequence, and I remember that. That's the thing that's in my brain. Like no matter how good the rest of it is after, I'm gonna keep saying, God, this is like so much better than the thing that sucked a couple minutes ago. That thing that was so terrible, it almost made me quit the game. Like, you know, it's like, it, that part's the part that lives in my brain rent-free, is the bad part. And then for the rest of the game, all the good parts are like, I'm comparing it to how bad that part was. <laughs> you know? What's up with GTFO then? We don't talk about that here until next year. <laughs> We don't talk about that again until next year when I forget about it. Okay? Thanks. Too soon, man. Unacceptable. Why would you say that to me? Apologize. Now. Hey, bro. Hop on GTFO. Corp worried. I'm gonna fucking kill that emote off. No! <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm just bluffing. I bluff and I bluff and I bluff. That's all I do. I bluff. I bluff this. I'm trying to think of like other examples of a game having a sequence that was so bad that it ruined the game for me. Hmm. Rampages. Yup. 
Rise as a whole game ruined by rampages. Like literally will never ever be imp like it cannot be saved like my memory of that game. Even like playing it again now and enjoying myself in Sunbreak. Rampages that one thing ruined it for me. Kingdom Hearts, oh my god. Yup. Actually, that's the most potent one that ever happened to me. The clams. The 300 clams. The clam event. The part where... Dude, but here's the thing. Kingdom Hearts 3 was building up to me quitting for the whole time I was playing it. Because, like, look, chat. Kingdom Hearts has a special place in my heart because I was exiled to like a fucking daycare when I was in Disney World when I was a kid. And the PS2 there had Kingdom Hearts on it and I had no idea Kingdom Hearts was even a game at the time. So I was at this freaking daycare while my whole family was off at some like cool show at night and I was playing Kingdom Hearts alone in this place and like the old person that was watching me at like the Disney World daycare was like, no one has ever made it this far into this game or even made it off of like the starting island. How are you doing this kid? And I was like, yeah, I'm pretty cool. I was like fucking like eight. <laughs> I thought, uh, but I was like, but like I, after I left Disney World, I didn't know what Kingdom Hearts was. I still didn't know what it was. And it was like another seven or eight years before I was like, wait, that wasn't like just a Disney World thing. That was like an actual game that I can like get for like Christmas. And then I like played one and two back to back in like one winter like break. So I have a, I had a, like, a very, uh, an imp that was like a, like a big deal to me, that game. So for the third game to fucking take a heaving dump all over all of my expectations, which were likely very bloated at the time of that game's release by uh, literally just retelling Frozen, uh, with Sora, Donald, and Goofy awkwardly, like, standing in the background of shots. <laughs> kind of, kind of was burning me from the very start. Uh, and then when it did that again, back to back with another three, uh, movies, where it just retold the plot. Uh, once I got to the Pirates of the Caribbean world, I was really looking for exits. I was looking for escape. Um, and it really would have only taken a minor inconvenience for me to be like, and I'm turning off my console. Yeah, and it was, um, it was the game popping up a notification that I wouldn't be able to progress until I pointlessly collected 300 crabs or clams from a, a giant open world city. So, will you play four? No, I won't. Dude, that ruined the... Fr like, literally, like, that game was such a fucking, like, dumpster fire to me that I won't play the next one. It doesn't take a lot for me, but I appreciate it when any game uh, forces me to escape its stupid bullshit and just never go back to its franchise again. I hold grudges. I hold horrible grudges, and I'm free. And I'm free. He's like a dwarf, but sickly. <laughs> what the fuck? I've got my book of grudges, but I'm not as like, I'm not as tough at all. Oh <laughs> well, yeah. New seven days to die update seems good. Dude, here's the thing. Here's the problem with like mod overhauls for me is that they kind of ruin the original game every time they happen. So it's like, I don't know if I can go back to normal seven days after playing Darkness Falls. I don't care what that mod, what the update added. Like, I, I feel like now I'm on the, I'm on a new update cycle where now I got to wait for Darkness Falls to update instead. It's like, I, I don't know. I'm one of those people that just likes added complexity. It's like, I just don't care. You know? It's like playing the original Stalker after Anomaly. 
Exactly, yeah. It's... It's definitely not something I could just go and do. Chat. I think I'm gonna get into the game. I think it's time to solve some fucking crime. I'm gonna go to the bathroom and then we're gonna get, uh, get to it. Okay? I'll be right back. Everyone, wake up! It's time. As soon as I unplug the audio source for this and plug it back in, because it definitely just made a crackle sound, which is actually, that's the first time that's happened in like uh, two weeks, so not bad. Then it's time. Dude, it's actually fucking tragic that after I like, after my good PC that I had... <laughs> Moved over to be the new stream PC, had like one bug. I switched back to my old decrepit stream PC that's like all crusty and it has never blue screened again ever. It's actually kind of tragic. Um, <laughs> it's kind of fucked actually because I spent a lot of money replacing it <laughs> just to have it back here again. It's the irony is not lost on me. Uh, there we go. All right. So once again, we're working with two mods today. One creates a very, very large map. It's already pre-generated because it has to be. Uh, but it is going from a maximum size city, which can only hold about 500 people or so in it, to a city that's going to be holding about 1,900. Big map. Mega city. On top of it, we are playing with a mod that lets me kill people. Now, I'm not going to be causing any crimes, but it'll keep me on my toes because in the past I have killed indiscriminately, quote unquote, but killing is just giving people a concussion in this game. And I, and I was never held accountable for my actions, but now, perhaps, I will be. It's just a joke. I'm being, I'm just being silly. So yeah, I'm gonna select a city. Miyazaki. 1800. People. Continue. Grup Grumble. Everyone's favorite detective. Everyone's favorite silly guy. Yes. He's gonna solve his own murders. <laughs> Gameplay settings. Sandbox start mode time. Midnight, the dead of night. No starting apartment. 
Zero dollars to my name. Zero starting lockpicks. Procedural murders on. Pop-up tips. Who cares? Flickering lights. Yes. Head bob. I don't know why that's even a gameplay setting. Weather change frequency. Sure. Game difficulty only impacts how much damage you deal and damage you take, I believe. So we're going to leave that on hard and game length. It doesn't really matter. None of this other stuff matters, but every status effect enabled. I don't even think I've experienced some of these. Numb? I don't know what that means to me. We're good. Game difficulty. Everything's good. Continue. It's going to take a little bit to generate, and then once we get into the game, we're going to need to sit for like a minute while it generates the map, because, uh, we will be down to like zero FPS while it loads, so. Bear with it. It does recover, but, uh, it will need to generate. I can't believe you didn't get the solitaire mod. There's no solitaire mod. I don't think. I don't, there is, well, it's too late. Generating the world. How long do you guys think it takes before I end up trying to solve my own crime that I committed? How, how long do we actually think it takes before I, I, I unintentionally murder someone and then discover their body and then like hand in my own case? Less than an hour. Damn, really? You guys think? That's not fair. No, that's not fair. I can hold off at least a couple of minutes. All right, now bear with it for a minute. There's a lot of map to load. And as you can see from simply the still image flickering in front of us, there's already like nine people in frame, which is uh quite a few actually for um just like the starting angle at a wall. Nine potential cases. <laughs> nine potential cases. Wow, that actually went really fast this time. Look at all of them. It's gonna hitch a little bit while we move around the city initially, though. Because, uh... I'm loading, like, everything in the distance still. Okay. Look at this place. Look at all these victims. They're not victims, but... For context of the city size, I'm right here. This is a big city. It's, uh, like nine by nine or some shit. It's, uh, huge. This is very big. This is a big city, and first thing we're gonna do today is, uh, get some money. Why does this say 99 lockpicks? Huh? I should have zero lockpicks. He's cheating already. It's a visual glitch. Okay. I'll be able to tell when I walk up to something to break into it right now. Hello there. You two homeless as well? Even. What's your name? Ryota Akita. What's it to you? Nothing, actually, just, I'm just asking you because I, Jesus, did you just, like, push me out of the way to take that side of the, okay? But I wouldn't give for a cup of coffee. Ain't that right? What's your, what's your name? We're all homeless. None of your business. Damn. No! Sorry. Oh, shit. Fuck off. Ugh. 
This shit is crazy. It's out of control. Not even five minutes? That wasn't a kill, that was an assault. Okay, there's a difference. How's it going? Okay, fuckers, whatever. Uh, <laughs> kind of mean that they walked away the second I went up to them, but uh, it's whatever. Uh, I gotta go find Chet. First thing we gotta do... City Hall. Alright. I actually work there. I'm a hobo cop, but I do work there. So if I just, uh, I'm just gonna look up City Hall. Yeah, I go to City Hall ground floor. I got, a, I, I got some stuff I gotta do. So we're gonna swing on over to City Hall. I plotted a route. Just get to City Hall. Figure out what the hell's going on in this crazy town. Oh. Yeah, when we turn corners and stuff's like still loading and generating, we're gonna be hitching a tiny bit. Until it smooths it out once we've explored everything. Okay. Oh. Damn. I fucking love this game though. I'm like already. It's like such an immersive fucking game compared to like every other fucking immersive sim. It's so good. Do you mind? This place seems like I like a place someone does get murdered in. Like this is a spooky goddamn room. Why is there like, huh? It's like there's, dude. You need to like get some, like this feels like there shouldn't be like concrete floors. How can I help you? What's up? What's uh? I'd like to buy something. Is what I would do if I had um, money, actually. Thanks. Ah. Uh, I can get a quick odd job here while I'm here. Wanted discreet individual with photography skills. I can't afford a camera right now, so that's not on the table. What about this? Demolition work. A reliable individual. All I have to do is call uh, 8860778. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, I'll do that. Except. All right. Just a bit of quick uh, vandalism. I can do that. Let me just uh, dial up. Uh... 886 8860778 I'm sorry 8860778 When the hell wasn't the number working I then realized something that was pretty bad Something that I had never really thought of before this is a fucking payphone. I'd have to go up to the front desk and ask someone for change to use the payphone. Damn. I hung up. Hey, do you, uh. Do you have any spare change? Hell no. Damn. I really wasn't expecting that kind of answer. I was honestly really hoping that they would just give me some money. Some guy with a box, thanks for the 10 gifted subs. Thank you. I decided to take a look around. There may be something in the back I could use. Thank God, a lockpick. I had one lockpick to my name. I could break into something and steal something. Pawn it off or something, maybe. How's it going? Hey, you got any change? What's your name? Jamila Schaffer. Why? I just wanted to know, um, if you have any money. Not giving you nothing. Okay. It's a hard life being a detective. People, uh... People don't really get me. They just, uh, push me around. Smack me all over the place. Treat me like an animal. Like I'm some kind of freak. Have fun in there, asshole. Did they just... You stop that. Asshole. I didn't understand why this place treated me like I was some kind of animal because I'm not. I decided to help myself as a public defender of the, uh... You know, the piece to, um, 
some of the money inside the cash register. Figured that was okay. If I could even open it, which I couldn't. I'm gonna take these lock picks. Do you mind if I take these? You got like a dozen of them anyways. I'm gonna take all these. This is actually like really good. Holy shit. Damn. Mind if I just take all these paper clips? Jesus! Do you mind if I... Holy crap! And another one! This place is mostly paper clips! I could break into something good now. Not bad. I... <laughs> Realized now that I was completely stuck in this place. I was actually trapped. I can't leave. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Let's just get to City Hall. It's what we planned anyways. At least then I'll be able to pick up a job. I was kind of killing time until, uh, until something in this city finally breaks. Until someone in the city snaps. Did they lose it? And then I'm gonna... Hey, what the heck? What's going on? Hey, uh, you alright, sir? He was just like, I, I tuck it out. Hey, you okay? Sir? What's your name? Sonny Gerard, what's it do you? Well, I was just... You were just running. Uh, have you seen anything unusual? Nothing. Huh. Got any money? Get out of here. You get out of here! Where the hell's this guy even going? Oh, he's just... ordering a burger. Oh, he's actually just running to the bathroom. I didn't know why Sonny was in such a rush that day. Honestly, it was probably none of my goddamn business, but I'm a detective, so I'm allowed to think like that and, and get upset when people don't tell me what's going on. I couldn't help but be horribly suspicious of him. Hang on, I was gonna steal something from this pawn shop. It's fucking locked. I'm getting really cold. I'm actually gonna freeze to death if I don't get inside. Hang on, I'm just gonna- oh! I'm cool. I, that guy just tried to stab- I, Jesus! Ow! Ow! Oh, Ow! Oh, they shot me! They fucking- I didn't do anything yet! All I did was run into a door! Jesus Christ! This city's always been a little crazy. Oh my god, get the fuck away from me. Oh. I'm in the city hall. Oh, I know I'm not. It just says, uh, it's my destination still. Where even am I? Fucking Christ, I just... I'm just cold. I just wanted a place to warm up. Chad, I didn't think this would happen to me. I thought I was just gonna... be able to... Walk to City Hall, no problem, but I'm so cold. I guess I can kill some time here in this obviously bathroom. The fuck is that? Is that just a vent hole? Weird. Can't believe that dude shot. No! <laughs> Can't believe that guy shot me. Why? The city actually goes even deeper than I thought. Basement floor level two. It seems I was wading into the sewers of this very city. I became stinky. No. Is there anyone down here? Hello? Hello? I just wanted a place to stay warm. I'm in... I'm... I'm a... I'm a hobo cop. I don't uh, have any. I don't have any funds to stay somewhere safe tonight. What the fuck was that? A laser? I think there's laser turrets around here. Let's just go back upstairs. Okay. We're gonna leave now that we're not being chased by any psychos. We're just gonna walk out the door. Get back on our merry way. Excuse me, everyone. Excuse me. Excuse me. Where's the city hall? I need to just... Oh, thank God. City hall. 
We can loiter in there tonight. Technically, I work there. I legally have- I have a license to work there. We'll work in city- we'll just stay in city hall. These are my people, anyways. How's it going? What is that? Is that an actual sync disc? I'm actually- I'm really gonna steal these. Starch brand ambassador. Gain two credits for telling someone about starch Oh my god. Oh my god. Steal it. I don't care. Take that too. Thanks, idiot. I'm gonna- Dude, I, I- Listen, chat, I have no money. I have to sell out. Earn up to 40 credits for photographs of restaurant kitchens. Value decreases with hygiene level. Max one photo per company per day. Or earn up to 40 credits uh, for photographs of business bathrooms. What the fuck? Am I like- What is this? Like a hot- Dude! I'm like take all right, so I'm gonna be <laughs> selling out uh, on pe I'm gonna be like shilling Pepsi to people, and I'm also going to be taking pictures of toilets. Uh, I'm a I'm just like a government. I, I guess I'm like gonna be like snitching on if they're not clean. Grab it, run. What the. Just when I thought I was off the hook, I get a call that a murder's come in at 1501 Armstrong Heights. I had no idea what to think, but I knew where the hell it was, specifically. Well, actually, I didn't know what it was. I had no details at all, other than someone had been murdered. Hang on. I needed to go and get my- before I did anything, I had to go to the sync disc store and get my sellout stuff installed. So, I needed to go to one of those. I needed to go to a street clinic. I needed to- I had to shill Pepsi. Pepsi-based product. Good news is, the sync clinic was right nearby. Damn, I really wish I could just smash through the glass like that. I can't. I tried jumping. How's it going? You still didn't install my sync disc. So which one do I want? Uh, I think I'm just gonna tell people about starch cola products. <laughs> install. Yep. Install it. Huge. And I think I'm gonna do bathrooms because I'm in a lot more bathrooms. Install. Yep. Install it. So what happens if I increase his money gained by one? Oh my god. All right, well, I wake up. I feel stronger than- ah! oh! Oh! I- I feel different. Faster, stronger, better. I feel like I need to help market something to someone. Excuse me, ma'am. You look like you need a, st a can of starch cola. Put some life into it. <laughs> keeping well? Yeah, I'm keeping well. Are you keeping well? <laughs> you know, you look like you could use a can of starch cola. Put some life into it. Dude, it's so easy to do sponsored content, dude. I no wonder streamers do this shit all the time, dude. I'm cashing out hard. What the? <laughs> Why the hell are these two open on the same street? Wouldn't that... That's some interesting competition. Huh. I'm cold. And it's raining. And it's miserable. And I'm upset. Hang on, I need to turn that off. Settings. Gameplay. I don't want fucking objective markers showing me where the, like, hands are to pick up things. That pisses me off. It's fucking cold, dude! Okay, I'm gonna grab my case resolution form. Collected form Bloody Slayer. I don't even- I haven't even gone there yet. How do I know it's a Bloody Slayer? Okay, well, um... What is there, a fucking earthquake? 
Hang on, I need to warm up. I'm cold. Chat, do I seriously even look at the city directory? It's gonna overwhelm us. That's all this A's through C's, huh? Lots of Palmers. <laughs> Lots of parks. Lots of parks in this city. Huh. We're going to 1501 Armstrong Heights. It's time. Good news is, even with how big this city is, the GPS location really works well, and I was able to find Armstrong Heights within a couple of seconds, mainly because it was right next door to my... Town Hall. Excuse me. The person who died was murdered right next to where I was freaking standing. What are the odds? They were on the 15th floor. I decided I would take the elevator. Jesus Christ, there's 19 floors on this building? Huh. 15th floor, please. I'm still shaking from being freezing cold. And I believe I'm also wet and stinky. I'll probably just take a shower in the um, murder victim's place. Damn. Big goddamn building. Here we are. I immediately knew something was off. What the? Wait, 1501, right? There's one right here. Someone's coming to answer the door. Wait, but isn't that 1501 Arms Armstrong Heights? How's there no tape yet? There are multiple Armstrong Heights? Is the killer still in the house? What the? Off officer, I didn't realize you were going to answer the door. Hey, I'm really posting up, huh? I was gonna need a weapon. I also forgot to use my sync disc vial because I was so excited. All right, I'm gonna need a weapon to defend myself. This'll do. I'm a detective, I work here. Where the hell's he going? React. What the fuck? Hold your horses. Wait, what the? What the? What the hell's this guy doing? You know what? I'm gonna capitalize on this. Hey. What's your name? Bethany MacArthur, huh? Bethany, do you know that there was a murder nearby? Also, do you, you look like you need a can of starch cola. You could use a starch cola. Get some pep in that step. Uh, do you think I can come in and take a look around? Sure, I don't mind. Got any spare change? Okay, well, I guess I'm allowed to come in your house. It's, uh, interesting. Hey there. Did you know someone got murdered nearby? What's your name? Nothing to do with you. <laughs> That's true. But you know what has something to do with all of us? Starch Cola. Put some life into it. The neighbors of, uh, the murder victim. 
The house was a fucking mess. I didn't know what the hell was going on, but I was gonna help myself to some of their things. I needed the money. I'd really come across some bad times. I needed it. So excuse me. I also needed some food. So I helped myself to some, uh... Some of their, some of their stuff. I also needed that. And so I dealt myself to the money in their purse as well. I took the key to their house. I might need it later. I also fucking stole their credit card. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh uh, Miss, Miss MacArthur, I'm so sorry to, uh, what's that? Theodore Chambers' work ID, huh? Huh. Interesting. All very interesting stuff. I just decided to take a look around. I gotta get to the club. It was a weird thing to say at 3 a.m. They had to get to the club. Don't forget my money. What the? Yeah, yeah. I didn't know what kind of dynamic these two had, but, uh... After that, Theodore just wandered around for a little while, touching the weird wooden mannequin they had embedded in their own table, and then just started making tea. Something was off about Theodore. I didn't know what it was, but I didn't really have time to care. I was busy taking people's birth control pills and just kind of snatching up their business cards and checking for spare change and well, stealing their rings. So I could pawn them off. All these are things I can sell, chat. For money. Yo, drugs. That's huge for me. Don't worry, chat. I'm gonna take both of their rings. I don't actually need this. Take one! <laughs> How the hell's that work for me? <laughs> Temporarily infertile. <laughs> it's happening again. Your tea's done. They never let a stranger into your house! <laughs> and I have your credit card! <laughs> I'm going to make all kinds of silly purchases in your name! And there's nothing you can do about it! <laughs> Pathetic. Actual psycho? Well, yeah. What can I say? I do need to go back down there, though, to actually solve the crime. They're not dead, though. If they were dead, I... I don't know what I'd do. They're not dead. They, they lived. Yoink. And I'm in. So what the hell actually... Jesus Christ. What the shit? That person got crumpled up. Better take a look around then. After I take that money. Ooh, more pills. I just snack on these things all the time, what can I say? Mmm. Damn. <laughs> yeah, the detective's really good. He gets the job done, but he eats... <laughs> 
every pill he sees, he just can't stop himself. He's a, he's a sicko. He's sick. The wages of rot. <laughs> Last thing they might have been reading before they died. And what's this, a key? A key to the house. Well, first things first, let's find out who the hell this even is. From examining the body, it appears that the victim has been shot to death with a rifle. I can determine the time of death is between... Okay, oh, oh, 30 and 145. Monday, 1979, January 2nd. This credit card isn't exactly relevant to me, but I'm going to keep it around just in case I need to make any purchases. I mean, I have to keep that around just in case I need to make a purchase. Now, let's figure out who the fuck this is. Who is this? Take their prints. Okay. Unknown citizen. Let's give it. Let's inspect them. So this is our victim right here. Yeah, that's him. Type A. Who was the hatchet Tall, Franklin? female, long brown hair, no glasses, shoe size 13, no facial hair, as one would expect. Hmm. <laughs> We don't want to listen to that anymore. We need to focus up. First thing I need to do is find out who the hell this even is. Let's take a look around. George Meza Workroda. I don't know who the hell that is. We're going to pin it for now. Got the work rotation. Get that on the thing. Anything in the fridge? I actually don't own food. So, uh... I do act, I actually need to eat. So, um, I'm gonna help myself to the apple in the fridge. Mmm. I was done with it. I put it back in the fridge. The officer heard everything, but they obviously didn't hear the part where I slipped into the building, right into the back room. The bedroom. They had no idea. They had no idea how much danger they were in if they came in here again while I was doing my thing. It'd be so easy to kill them. I mean, I wasn't going to because I'm not a sicko, but it would have been so easy. I also needed to take a shower because I was stinky. I didn't want the officer to be able to smell me for another second, so I decided to take a quick shower and wash off all of the nasty sewer water off of my feet. I left the water running because it's not like... It's not like it was gonna matter anymore. Not after the horrible accident. Well, it wasn't really an accident. This person got murdered, but not after the murder, I suppose. Anyways, back to it. First thing I had to do was figure out what the hell happened here and who this is. I was gonna search their body, see if they had a wallet on them. Nothing at all? Just, uh... Just their... Just the cause of death, huh? Nothing. Damn. Everything else on them is relatively normal. Alright. See if there's any fingerprints on this shit. Anything? What the hell is this guy doing? I'm gonna have to fucking kill this guy. Chad, I might have to dispatch this man. He's making a fucking scene. Okay. I'm gonna have to actually dispatch this man, I worry. What the hell is this? There's some kind of syringe. Right by the bed, right by the fucking nightstand. Fingerprint type A, that's our victim. Type A. Yep, they were using the syringe. Leaving that shower on really pissed off the officer something fierce. Probably should go get that. 
I don't think this dude's ever gonna leave now because he's gonna keep checking the fucking shower. I realized the only way I would have peace again is... If I got him. I was gonna have to- <laughs> I switched my candlestick on! Along with the other one. I, I, I flipped the light switch on both of my candles, and I prepared to dispatch the officer. Uh, Non-lethally, of course. Non-lethally. Oh! Ah! Ow! He fucking shot me twice. It hurt really bad. I decided to hide. The game hitched for a second. I hid. He shot me. He fucking shot me. He shot me. I didn't think he'd actually- I didn't think that was gonna happen. I was fucking bleeding. A lot. I was getting blood all over the crime scene. I, uh, I closed the door. I had to get inside that fucking shower to turn it off for the officer who would never shut the fuck up. I decided to take a look around. Maybe I'd get some other information while I was hiding from the officer. Follow the filing cabinet. Someone named... I found someone's credit card in it. Mr. S. Dobson. Along with what looked to be a scribble drawn by a child. I didn't know what kind of handwriting that was, but it looked just about as... Uh, just about as close to mine as really the game could probably get. It looked like I wrote that. Just really fucking clumsily, just awful looking handwriting. Uh, I, I, I'm gonna pin it anyways. I don't know whose credit card that is, but somehow I know what the person looks like. Despite all of it. Uh, next one. That's just, a, I just found a box of credit cards. Uh, I don't know who, who these people are. But Miss Eldos, also here. Organ donor card for Amelia Carlson. What the fuck is in, what's up with this box? I found a donor card for some Amelia and Mr. M. M. Gia, his credit card as well, and the organ donor card for Alexander Fisher. I didn't know why this person had all these cards, and another organ donor card for Muhammad Kelly. What the hell was the point of all of this? Is this person stealing people's identities? Another credit card, Mr. O. Wilburn. I was collecting quite the list of names out of this box, but I didn't know what any of it meant. I had to find some kind of documentation, perhaps some kind of computer that I could get some... Some extra... A uh, business card. Cerulean Express. George Meza. Whoever this George guy was, works at the Cerulean Express, retail owner, business owner. Check the other drawers. It looks like that officer finally turned that crap off. George, I know I'm not supposed to write this down, but I can't forget it again. 8683. Copy that. A note. Probably just some kind of safe. All I had to do was find it now. And then maybe we'd get somewhere. Just had to check something first. Fingerprint type B. That probably goes to George. If I had to guess. But we didn't know where George was. I'd have to go find him. You gotta be fucking kidding me. I have to kill this guy. I'm gonna have to kill this guy. What do I do? He's gonna fucking shoot me. And then I'll be in sp This officer was never gonna stop. He was gonna keep on running around making a mess of the crime scene. At some point I had to quiet him. Stomping up and down. Also, this is a good reminder to save my game. It's been a long time. Matter of fact, I haven't saved it. I stormed into the room! 
I stamped it. One, two step, three step, four step. I miss it. Five step. Who killed this guy? Brooke Johnston. Breathwalt Heights. Taking that net. Thanks, Brooke. And a fucking gun. Holy shit. Brooke Johnston. Damn. What are the odds? From examining the body, it appears his victim has been bludgeoned to death. I can determine the time of death is between four. A.M. and 4.21 A.M. Monday, January 2nd, 1979. My God. <laughs> Damn. Another victim of the Bloody Slayer. Arrived too soon. Bloody Slayer was still in the house. I'm bleeding out. I need medical attention. I've been stabbed. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Let me just uh, drop this. Uh... Hang on. Oh! Let's get rid of that. Damn. Might as well grab your prints, actually. Just take your prints as well, just in case. I mean, you were like touching everything. Making a mess of my crime scene. <laughs> Damn shame what happened to you. Just another body. Woo! Yo, you know what we got here. Love that. Just love snacking on this. One of my favorite things in the goddamn world. <laughs> All right. Now then. I need medical attention because I'm dying, but also I need to solve this case. Really, really urgently. Couldn't tell what this even said. V paid. I'd have to go into the room next door again to... Figure it out. Good news is, I actually owned the keys. I needed to see if somehow the writing bled into this room. What the fuck? It almost does. Ooh, money. Ooh, a key. I'll be taking those. All right, I need to find out what that safe combo goes to. What was it? Or like the computer. What is this? It says 8683. That's got to go to something. We need the we need information. It's time. The micro cruncher. J Meza V Estrada. Eight, six, eight, three. All right, it's Jay Mesa then. Eight, six, eight, three. George Mesa. I mean, take a look at you, George. Did you do it, George? There's a chance he's the one. Damn, I got his phone number. I should call him and let him know he's, uh, his partner's fucking dead. Yeah, I should probably let him know. Yeah, as soon as I have the money to, for the uh, payphone, I'll give him a call. I suppose maybe they have a telephone here. We'll, we'll figure it out. Let me check his emails. Viviana Estrada. Hi, honey bunny. Don't forget to pick up milk on your way home. Lunch date. Sync discs, some stuff about... Nothing, nothing helpful. Absolutely nothing helpful. And I don't have that goddamn passcode for the 
or the victim. Just George. Yeah, maybe there's something in one of these filing cabinets that no one ever uses to file anything. Wait, there's files in there. No, there isn't. Wait, are there? What the f- Damn. This is where files would go, if they had any. But they don't. I turned on my lantern. <laughs> this case isn't going anywhere. And sometimes my character just stops blinking. I can't move! This needs to get out of here. <laughs> Hang on. Which one of these windows did I break open to dispose of the murder weapon? Is it this one? Oh, it's this one. What the? I didn't have time to unpack what the hell was going on. But that do but that freaking chair disappeared the second I threw it. Gone. Poof. Into the mist. Something was up. I was starting to think maybe a ghost had killed them. But I couldn't be sure until I figured out what the hell was going on. What is this, a shopping list? Hamburger, cola, hamburger. Why'd they write down hamburger twice? Ooh. Hang on. Damn. Someone got to these before me. I don't want to sabotage that. Pick a pepper sauce, tinned food, tinned food. I was still kind of hungry. I decided to go back and finish the rest of the apple. Never mind, it's done. What is this? Toy car. I just need a combo to get inside there. Either the safe, either the safe, or. That lady's account. But I knew what I had to do next. I had to find their phone. Wherever the hell it was. Matter of fact, where is their phone? Someone's... What the... What the hell is this doing here? Type B. Who the hell's touching this hammer? Well, we know they were shot. The victim was shot. Okay. Who the hell's... Type D. Type D? A fire extinguisher is touched by someone with type D fingerprints. Doesn't make any goddamn sense. Damn. I need this body, like, moved. I feel like they're, like, crumpled on top of... Crumpled. Crumpled like a piece of paper. Crumpled up like a piece of paper. Am I gonna- Chat, if this is the same fucking thing as what happened to me last time I played this game or I had to check my fucking phone book for 30 years, we are fucked. Because there's like eight times the people now. If that happens right now, we are fucked. This case is never getting solved. S B S What is that? What letter fucking even is that? That's a nothing letter. What even is that? Let's play S B S. What is that? A Z or a seven? If that's that's not a seven, it's a Z. Wait, if it's a Z, we might be able to do it. How many people how many people have Z names anyways? How many people? Zelda. Someone named Zelda, that kind of stands out. What's your last name, Zelda? That is someone with a last or first name with- Someone with a la- uh, no, a first name. No, a last name with two Z's is the only other thing it could be. Two Z's makes it actually really easy because it's either going to be a first initial Z or someone with two Z's in their name and both of those are fucking weird. 
Let me go to the Z's. There's not that many Z's. Any Z Z's? No. Fuck. God damn it. Fuck. Fuck. I have an idea, but it's going to be tricky. Good news is, I do have some numbers I can call. Specifically, George first. Was that 249 7030? I'm gonna tell him his uh, partner's dead. First and foremost, and ask where he is right now. 249 7030. 249 7030. I'm calling myself, aren't I? Damn! The psycho already got to them! All right, next thing I have on my in my arsenal is big. All right, we have other options. I need to... I'm gonna call... I'm gonna identify the last caller. Maybe the murderer said they were coming to murder them before they murdered them. That can happen. You know, what, what was it again? 541. Last caller was... Four five three eighty five ninety three. Thanks for the help. At midnight. At twelve. At twelve. Twelve. But that was just a mere twenty. Well, just a mere eighteen minutes uh, before they died. Ish. Possibly. I'm gonna call them. Maybe they'll answer with their name like an idiot. Pick up the goddamn phone. Pick up the fucking phone. Pick it up. Pick up the phone. Pick up the fucking phone. Pick up the phone. Please pick up the phone. Pick it up. Pick up the phone. It's 5 a.m. I don't care. Pick it up. Zelda, I know it's you. I know it's you. Now, wait a minute. We have. Wait a minute. <clears throat> Sarah, you piece of shit. Answer the god. All right. No, I'll just go and knock on her door myself. Sarah! Get ready! Oh, actually, one si one thing? Uh, I'm gonna call the police and let them know that uh, one of their officers is dead in here. Uh, 911, Rose, Rose, Rose. Okay, thank you. Let's get moving. Where the fuck is the elevator? Where the fuck is the elevator? Oh. There it is. Ground floor. I didn't think this was actually gonna get me anywhere, but... It was better than searching the phone book miserably for the next 18 years trying to find someone with two Z's in their name. It was just too much. Didn't make any sense. Honestly, if that's... If that was the level of, uh... Level of work I was gonna have to do to actually solve this case, well... This person was gonna die. Never, ever, ever being avenged. I didn't really have any way to solve it. It was just too much work. There's too many people in the city. Too many people for that. Can't solve that one. Uh, so I'm gonna try to accuse someone else of it. Uh, hey. You. 
You look like you need a can of starch cola. Wow, what a... Pfft, what the fuck is your problem? Jackass? Pfft, well, I'm not a shill, okay? Pfft, put some pep in your step! I'm pretty sure I lost him. Pretty sure. Oh shit. Wait. Get away from me! 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 I swear to God, get away from me! Get away from me! Back off! They're like weaving around! Get away from me! What the? No! 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 Don't follow me! Ow! 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 You broke my freaking leg! Ow! 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 Wait, I can still get out of this. Oh, they cut me off. Oh, they're cutting me off. Oh! Ooh, I'm not so sure about that. Wait, if I get up that, I win. Get the fuck away from me. Freaks. I got chased all the way down the fucking street. Why? I'm gonna be fine. I just have to lay low for a little bit. Does that person have a gun? I'm glad no one shot me. How am I doing? They broke my fucking leg. They broke my goddamn leg. You're a bunch of psychos! I got chased! I was the fucking victim. And that person's fine. I just hit him with a barrel and punched him once in the head to keep him down for a minute so I can get away. I didn't kill him. Right? Right? <laughs> My fucking leg. My leg's all bent up and shit. It's all... It's crunching when I take steps, Chad. I don't... Feels so good, I need a bandage or something. I gotta find a medical station. How much money do I have for health care? How much money do I have? I have $308. <sighs> See? There's no body there. That person's fine. They lived. See? There's just a barrel. But I tell you, I'm not a sicko. There, is there a splint in there? I need to get... Oh, wait, I forgot that there's like a bunch of fucking medical stations like lining these goddamn streets. I just need some... I just need a splint. Yeah, just one splint, please. Thank you. Just go ahead and crunch down on that. Get that in my system. Boom. Fuck you. I had to get to Sarah at Valencia Projects. They were in danger. That or they were the danger, one or the other. I was gonna figure it out when I got there. This must be Valencia Projects. Sorry, what I meant to say is this must be a Valencia uh, Projects. This, no, this is Val I was in. I was starting to not see color anymore because of how fucking cold I was. I was dying. I'll take the stairs. Sarah! Sarah! Third floor. We had to hurry. We didn't know how much danger Sarah was in. There was a psycho serial killer on the loose. We had to save them. Sarah? Sarah! Oh! Oh! Oh, you're alive. Why the fuck do you have a skull on your table? Sarah, why do you have a skull on your table? You better tell me what the hell this- No, oh, what this is! Search him. You got a weapon on you? You got a gun? 
No! Oh wait, they're not dead. That was the other thing. That was the other one. That was just the other one. I thought I killed them. I thought I killed them with that. I didn't. God damn it. Close all this. Inspect. Sarah, 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 when will you learn? Hang on, I gotta search you properly now. Okay, they don't have anything on them. Well, I'm taking this skull because I can't fucking trust you. Uh, I don't know if you're gonna try to kill me. Um, Sarah Washington, huh? I'll be taking that. Yep. That's my credit card now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Relax. You need to take a chill pill. All right, your life is in danger. I'm trying to save it. What the fuck are you doing with your microwave anyways? This place is a goddamn mess. You got any food? I actually like need to eat. I can't eat si I can't eat synth chicken. It'll make me sick. Uh listen, Sarah. Um do you know anything about the death of your friend? I need to check your fingerprint, Sarah. It's actually like really important. So um don't get up. Don't don't get up. Don't get up. Why am I still inspecting her? Don't get up. Stay down. All right, matter of fact. Matter of fact. Sarah Oh my freaking god. Somehow this person was bludgeoned to death. Huh. I don't think Sarah did it. <laughs> I don't think Sarah has anything to do with the case. Wait a minute. Sarah doesn't have any Z's in their last name. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. They were just a doctor. Damn shame, man. This keeps happening to me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I didn't. Yeah, why did you have a skull on your table? Is that just something doctors do? I don't know. <laughs> I'm gone before your time. You stupid idiot. Why didn't you just tell me? Why didn't you just say you were? No, oh, why didn't you just say that you were a freaking doctor from the start instead of chasing me around when I found your spooky skull and ritual table? Sarah, what the f what the f hang on. what the fuck, Sarah? We could have we could have been such good friends. Oh man, if only I could have told you to crack open a starch cola and uh, crack that shit open and fucking rip it and rip it and down that shit. We could have been such good goddamn friends and now you're dead and gone. You s fucking idiot, you moron. Why'd you even have this? What was this? Ah! Oh, I fell. I fell. Uh, no! Don't worry, Sarah. Whoever did this to you, I'm gonna I'm gonna take them down. As soon as I finish the last case I'm working on, I just need one another minute. Is all. I just need one minute. I'm gonna call the police for you after I watch some TV. About fifty crows a week. Small change. Girls gotta live. Yeah, well, listen good. Or you ain't gonna be living much longer. Uh, you are riding the elevator in the wrong direction on this one. You hear me? Uh, Angel ain't going around icing mopes for what they said or did. It's who they were then. Henry, lock the door, you. Chanda, what does that cigar have to Damn, I love that episode, man. I love that episode. Hang on, I need to call the police on me. <laughs> I need to call the police. Uh, maybe I should... Maybe I should just make sure their fingerprints are correct before I believe that they're innocent, actually. Maybe I should check that if I can aim at it. 
Oh, it's really hard when I'm this drunk. I should just go to sleep. God damn it! Oh, oh I drank a whole bottle of bourbon. Give me your print. I need to know if you're a psycho. Type F. Nope. I got bad news, chat. We killed Sarah Washington for nothing. They <laughs> were just a doctor, goddammit! They were just a doctor. They wanted to... They were just a freaking doctor, and now they're dead, and I killed them. I killed them with my... With, with, with my bullshit. Just like I kill everyone. Do they have any snacks I can eat? Are there any pills I can crunch down? Oh! Is there any pills I can crunch down on? Oh! 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 If I go to sleep when I wake up in the morning, it's all, I'll be a crazy dream. I know it. Let me just set my alarm. How the fuck do I set my alarm? I don't know how anymore. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, I can buy. Damn, my guy is drunk forever, huh? I can barely walk. <laughs> oh, give me this. Sarah, it's such a goddamn shame you tripped on your chair and freaking died. That's why you're not supposed to wheel fucking chairs around like this. Office chairs aren't made to slide around an entire building. You're gonna hit a fucking change in terrain and you're gonna slip. Those things are fucking heavy. Why did you do that? Why would you fucking do that? What they have in the trash? Oh! 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 Stop! Please! <laughs> what happened to me? Pay medical fees and completely recover or attempt to escape without paying medical fees. What, are you kidding me? I'm not gonna fucking pay for this shit. <laughs> How did I get here? Where am I? What happened to the case? What happened to the case? I need to... Damn, they really shouldn't leave this stuff right next to the fucking bed. Get out of the bed! They didn't even let me move. Huh. Huh. Don't pay. Get up. You must think you can just get me. I thought I could pick that up. Yeah, at what point do I just... I feel like if I die, I need to immediately submit just like a phone-in terrible result for the like current mission I'm on. Like the current like case. Like I have to give up on the case. Like I feel like that's like a rule I should do. Is like if I die, case is over. I lost. Like I think I have to. I think that's a, like a fucking rad way to do it because it'll actually incentivize me to not goof death. <laughs> How do I... Can I just like fucking say that I give up? On a case? I guess I can just resolve it. And just have a terrible result, right? I don't know, uh... 
Freaking honestly. <laughs> I think it was G Grumble. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I I'm pretty sure I did it. <laughs> Do you have evidence that places me at the scene of the crime? Uh yeah, my fingerprints are everywhere. Actually, um Yeah, a cadaver. Where does the killer live? Homeless. Have you located the murder weapon? Uh. Hang on. If I look up myself. I don't. I, where's my. I need my ID. I don't own one. Uh, the murder weapon was, um... It's optional, it doesn't even matter. Case closed. Please resolve, what is the full name of the killer? Closed case. Case closed. <laughs> I'm not paying no medical bill, I'll tell you what. No one makes me pay anything. Oh! You can just make me pay. No one makes me pay. Oh. Did I wake up in a different, uh... Oh my god, I woke up in a different area. I'm not fucking paying. Get up. Fuck. Oh! Oh. 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 Thought that one was the one. <laughs> really thought that was it. Thought that'd be the one where I really popped off. Wake up. How much money do I have? Don't pay. Zero dollars. Get up. Run. They smelled me. They smelled me. See ya! We lived. I'm thirsty, I'm hungry, I haven't showered in weeks. I'm freezing to death. I'm barely hanging on. But I had a feeling my luck was gonna change. I just had to come across some money. Everything would be okay. Uh, this was really easy. Uh, okay, I'll just take that. And, um... It's fire extinguisher. Is there someone that works here? I'm just- I just need some money. I j Chad, I just need some money. That's all. I just need to come across some... Money. Is all. So if I could just... Oh my god, they had a gun on them. Bludgeoned to death. How could this happen? It's a damn shame, actually. Damn shame. Mia Alonzo. But you know, violence is what the fuck is that in your hand? Is that is that fucking synth meat? Just gonna grab your prince just in case it ever comes up. Not like it's gonna. You're nobody. You're just another fucking... Just another name. None of it matters. It don't matter. Here. You slipped. 
since I can help myself to whatever I need. And still pay for it. That's wild. Uh, considering I killed the owner of the building. But, um, you know, um, maybe I can go back here and... No. No, no. It's so sad, yeah, that the sink overflowed and she slipped on the water and then slammed her fucking head right into the edge of the sink and then onto a fire extinguisher. Which I just actually found out now and confirmed is an instant kill item that permanently takes an NPC's life from the equation. And if I just start killing everyone I see, eventually there will no longer be any people that can, like, get mad at me for doing silly things. So maybe I should actually grab the fire extinguisher again. Damn, it's gone. Next fire extinguisher I see. I'm just gonna, like, run down the street and clock everyone I see in the head with it. Since it's apparently an instant kill. Well. There wasn't much I could do. Until another crime came in. I was hungry. I was thirsty. Probably gonna go buy, uh, go buy myself a nice snack. There's something along those lines. But until then, this was my home. Amongst the dirt. One good case and I'm back in the money, chat. That's, that's the thing. One, one good case and I'm, I'm back, baby. Just gotta eat some food. That didn't even get me close to not being starving. Let's get some water from somewhere. Good news is there's loads of tinned food to steal from the homeless. It's barely even filling. It's mostly garbage anyways. But it was going to get me somewhere. It's the best I could do. Eat that. Throw it. Grab that too. Eat it. Fucking hell, I was hungry. It felt like I needed to... It felt like I just had to eat so much. I needed more food. I needed even more food. I just needed something to eat. Something to... What the? What the? What the? Huh? I wasn't feeling so good. I was starting to black out from all of the medical... The medical accidents I've had all kind of piling up. My legs were mostly... They were mostly... They were mostly metal now. The amount of just... Just steel. Ah. I made it farther in the hospital that night than I had any other night since. But I didn't make it that far. I had no intentions of paying for medical bills. I didn't ask to be saved. I was numb. I was thirsty, I was hungry. Apparently my medical bill was only $16 the whole time. I was not aware of that when I declined to pay it. But I can also say with rock solid certainty that I did not have $16 to my name at the time. So I refused. I was gonna take my chances running for it again. I'd kill if I had to. Whatever it takes. But first... Damn. They didn't even put anything in the fucking... cabinet for me to steal. Get up! Oh. They want to kill me. They all want to kill me. Hello. Don't shoot me. Don't. Ow. Get the fuck away from me. Get away from me. Don't. Don't.
I was wondering if I was ever going to get a call. There it is. There's the bastard that's been keeping me locked up in this place. I realized all I had to do at that point to free myself from this nightmare was kill them. If I take their life, then there won't be any doctor anymore to heal me. All I had to do was kill him. If I kill him, I'm free. Oh! 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 Someone killed this guy. Hang on, everyone calm down. I'm a detective. Yep. This person's fucking dead. Ah! If I kill everyone in City Hall, then they can't hold me accountable for my actions anymore. I had such a headache waking up. I almost felt like I felt like something shot me right in the head or something, but I wasn't about to I wasn't about to pay no bill. I stood up again. Helped myself to some para pa paxadol and hid in the corner, immediately getting spotted again, and then I went into the security room. What are you going to tell on me? What are you going to tell on me? Because there's not a turret in here, you fucking idiot. Stop. Oh, four, five, one. Well, good news is anyone in here that tries to uh, actually apprehend me is going to get gunned down by the turret outside, which is aimed right at the door shooting at me, so, um, well, joke's on them if they even fucking try it. Yep. Joke's on them. I just had to find out the names of everyone that works in this fucking building and kill them one at a time. One by one. And good news is I knew exactly who I was working with. This must have been, uh, Mason Williams, the guy I killed. Damn shame. I had the exact names and IDs of every employee that worked in the medical ward that was holding me hostage. <laughs> Am I really about to make a case so I can hunt down and kill everyone that works in this hospital? So that they'll stop hassling me <laughs> the last grumble I just needed to get some documents in order The employee records of quite a few people were in this. Had to get them all. Just had to get them all. Really quick. Four people, four targets. I kill all four of them and I'm free. Of course, I knew exactly where it is that uh, they were going to be most of the time. But I didn't know where they actually lived. I'd have to find that out. Unfortunately, the alarm! WAS DRIVING ME CRAZY! SHUT! THE F- FUCK UP! SHUT UP! OH! OH! There has to be a way to silence it. There has to be a way to stop the beeping. Motherfucker, die! The horrible beeps! The horrible beeping! It never ends! 
Maybe no 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 It was fine because this would be the last time they ever had me. I knew all of their names. I knew every single one of them now. All four of the bastards that had kept me hostage in this place. And they were going to die. They were all gonna die. Every single one of them. But I knew I would have to pay my medical bills so they would finally leave me alone long enough for me to kill them myself on my own terms. So I paid it. I allowed them to heal me up properly. It's not like I could pay anything anyways. It's not like my account could go into the negative. <sighs> Officer. Sure did spend a lot of bullets there. Nothing to say to me, huh? Tell... God. Mason Williams. <laughs> well, it's good to know one of them's already dead. <laughs> one down. One down. Maybe I should check their body just to see if there's anything on them. Jasmine Ward, medical officer, Mason Williams. Damn shame what happened to you, Mason. I'll be taking your wallet. Be pinning down where you live, just in case. Someone bludgeoned you to death. Damn shame, Mason. Damn shame. I'm afraid it's none of my business what happens to you now. Where are the others? June McKenzie. Chief Medical Officer. They're the last one on my list, chat. We already got rid of Mason. Now we just have to find Naira Gotti, Neil Raj, and then finally June McKenzie. To all employees, door to my office has been reset to 0451 regards. Well, I don't need that I just need to look up their documentation, which is fortunately totally unprotected at this here office desk. Might as well hop on the micro cruncher and see what I can figure out. You know, you put my detective skills to good use. Fuck. One second, please. No! No! Damn. I need the goddamn code. I have the key to the office. I don't have the key to the actual, um... ...thing I need. I have to find the- I have to find all these people. I have to- Chad, I'm, I- I have a case. I know it seems psycho, but I have a case. I have to- Like, if uh, this is happening to me... It's happening to probably dozens of people just like me that are being held hostage by the by the freaking medical system of this goddamn city and I swear to God I'm not gonna allow it. I will be a goddamn hero.
I'm gonna need that poison. Why the hell did they have? Wait, why did they have poison? Why did they have this? If you drink this, it kills you. See? Why the fuck did they have that in here? Now I'm gonna die. <laughs> Which freaking room is this? Briar Ward? What the fuck is Briar? How deep does this go? How deep does this case go? Get up. Officer. Evening. You look like you need a can of starch cola. Put some life into it. Yeah, you could use one of those. You need a can of starch cola. We all do in this crazy world. We all need it. That per someone actually left their fucking actual PC unlocked. Hang on, I'll, do I'll get to that in one second. Mother of God. You have to cut off all the heads of the Hydra to kill a chance. Maybe I've been looking at this the wrong way. We have to cut off the heads of the Hydra all together now. Or it'll just come back again and again and again and again. And again and again and again. Heads up. Whoopsie. Who the fuck killed this guy? Damn. <laughs> I'm taking it all the way to the top. I'm taking control of City Hall until serious changes are made to the way we handle medical attention. I will not be held hostage again. I'll have to, I'll have to take them all out. Where's the mayor? Where's the mayor? Where's the mayor? Where's the mayor? Well, well, well. Ballistic armor just for me. <laughs> Where is he? Is that a newspaper? You wait right there. What is this? Let me take a look here. Miyazaki murderer claims another. Horrifying. A horrifying sight this evening was the murder of local citizen Mason Williams, 38, who was found brutally bludgeoned to death at City Hall first floor landing. It is believed that Williams was a resident of Lambraki's house. Starch Cola enforces other seeds said we cannot provide further information at this time as the Miyazaki murderer continues to terrorize the city and forces have placed a hefty bounty on the killer's capture. Also, Starch Cola is having a sweepstake. They're covering it up. How could they possibly say for a fucking second, Chet? How could they? That their best detective lost it? And is beating people's heads in with a fucking bucket? You can't. You can't tell anyone. How could you? 1832. I just have to talk to the mayor. Chet, I just need to talk to them. I just need to talk to them. It's okay. I, we're just gonna talk to them. That's all. Just need to have a word with them. Eighteen thirty-two. Oops. Oops. 
I mean. Rachel Caldwell should really keep your profile a little bit more locked down. <laughs> Every employee in the entire building is on this database. Pretty big slip up, eh, Joseph Kelly? Eh, June McKenzie? <laughs> Cut off the heads of the Hydra, chat. It's as simple as that. Joseph. Joseph Kelly. Joseph Kelly. I got you dead to rights. Joseph. Just have to unpin this now? Well, maybe we'll let the other medical folks live. It's just... It's just the heads that we want, chat. It's just the heads that we want. These ones are nothing. They're nobody's. Tomato, they're good people. They have fucking uh, poison and uh, gun turrets in their uh, hospital rooms. They have. I got gunned down when I tried to stand up out of my bed. I got gunned down. I got gunned down. I got actually ripped up. Because you keep killing them. No! 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 That's the Miyazaki murderer! That's not me! I haven't done anything wrong. If I killed this guy, we need to get out of here. People keep slipping down these stairs and cracking their heads open. It's a goddamn shame. It really is. Hello? Anyone here? Damn shame. I'm gonna need a knife. I think I'm gonna need one of those. Self-defense. Shit. No, get this out of here. Get that out of here. I'm gonna... Got this dirty plate I need to ditch. Give me that. I don't need your credit card. Damn, they got bludgeoned. Let me just... Oh! Someone heard that. Oh no. Take this knife. We're gonna need this. Oh shit. Ah! You little shit. You have no idea how fucked you are. As soon as I get my utility knife out, you're fucking dead. It's a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Oh! 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 I'm not even after you! Bell is this place. First destination on my list, the last grumble got two targets. Joseph Kelly, 1401 Ibaka Grove, plot of root, plot of root.
Joseph. Joseph. It's time. You're right. If I had some money, I could take a photograph of the... What the hell happened here? Oh, yeah, I did this one. Yep. Yep. That's about right. Huh. Damn. That's crazy. I'm surprised they didn't take that money last time. You're right, Chet. I should go back to Town Hall and uh, pick up some uh, a camera before I go. That's smart. I don't need this ring. I never cared about it. Money means nothing to me. If I stop by Town Hall, I can pick up a camera. And uh, then I can, um... Take pictures of people's nasty bathrooms. And if I do that... Ow! Why are you shooting at me? what I do wrong? what I do wrong? Don't! Ah! Who was that? what I do? what I do? What I do? What I do wrong? I didn't do anything wrong. Detained? Do you really think this hospital can hold me? Oh, oh, oh. I need to buy a camera. One second. $85. Buy it. It's time. No one's gonna stop me now. No one's gonna stop me now. I'll tell you that much. Just gotta go to Ibaka Grove. As soon as I buy some things from this store, I need some hairpins. Specifically. I don't actually even need to buy them. I just needed. Just kind of need some more hairpins. Thankfully, I don't have to pay for these. Ooh. Paxidol. I'm kind of addicted to Paxidol, I'm going to be honest. What is this? Door code to my office reset to 6177. Give me that money. I'm gonna need it. To Abaka Grove, come on. Grup hasn't solved a single crime, but he's committed at least a hundred. Well, chat, here's the thing. I'm gonna get all my solving done at the very end in one big bulk solve when I report myself for all of my crimes. Like a psycho serial killer. I'm gonna turn myself in like a maniac. I'm gonna do a self-report at the very end. And then I will have solved every crime. Matter of fact. And I will have solved them all. 14th floor. Better get to it. Oh, oh fuck. Man, everyone's got guns. Why's everyone got guns? Where'd you guys get those? What the hell? <laughs> Why's everyone got guns? <sighs> I keep thinking that if I wake up here, Chad, I'll eventually see someone else who works here. But it's never happened. How is that. Who cleared their throat? Someone here is alive. They didn't confiscate my utility knife. Did someone hear that? God damn it. It's almost impossible to leave this place with all the dead bodies. Oh. 
I'm getting to my destination. I'm not getting distracted. I'm not killing anyone. I'm leaving. Officer. Is there a storm coming? Beautiful night for it. Beautiful night for it, really. I'm just being a little silly. <laughs> I'm just being a little silly. Chet? Not even doing anything that bad in the grand scheme. Officer? 3831C, huh? Good thing you called me. Let me take a look around. Holy shit. Linus Larson. I'm just gonna grab that key quick. He got slashed up. Don't shoot me, you fucking asshole. Going to the 14th floor. Some kind of blizzard's going on outside. I can see it outside the windows. It's gonna be a cold one tonight. Fifth floor. I've officially committed to running up the stairs and I kind of regret it. No. Uh. But I don't want to take the elevator. I'd get my fucking fingerprints all over it and, know, and then they'd know. They'd know I did it. So I gotta walk. Look at this. Look at how nice their apartment must be. Look at this. That t typical of the fucking head. chief medical officer to have such a nice goddamn building. A nice house here. 1401. Who the hell am I here to kill again? I mean, get. Joseph Kelly. Joseph Kelly. Wouldn't want anyone to call the cops. to find a way in. Maybe crawl my way into a vent or something on the lower level. It should only take me a second. Oh! No, that doesn't even go up. Joseph Smart, he's got his shit separated from the central air of the building. It's fine, I've got lockpicks for a reason. Joseph. Joseph. Joseph, where the heck and heck are you, buddy? The rat like Angel Harris. Go to hell. I'm no stoolie. Sure you're not. It was Soika. Joseph? 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 Did you ditch town? Joseph? What the hell is all this? Lamar Blue? Joseph Kelly, that's my guy. Taking that. Joseph. 
Joseph, where the heck you neck are you, buddy? What the fuck? What the fuck? What did I fucking tell you, Chet? The heads of the Hydra. <laughs> They've all got to be severed. There's been something up with this place for years, dude. You guys think I'm crazy. I don't use guns. I say no to violence. In that specific way. Jesus, these two are fucking freaks. Holy shit. What are they doing? What are these <laughs> feet to head? Feet to head? Eight AM Another day, another dollar. Ain't that right, Joseph? Ain't that right, Joseph? Joseph? Ain't that right? Pretty sure that's right, Joseph. Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. Time to wake up. I said Time to wake up. <laughs> Heavy sleeper. A lot of them. Which one of these is even my guy? Can't really tell, actually. Is this Lamar? That must be Lamar. I don't want to have to kill two of you, but I fucking will. I swear to God, I will. No! I need this. If I don't have this, I can't win. Oh! They're dodging. Don't touch me. Oh, hang on. The problem is I can't fucking see when I'm killing them. Hang on. There we go. What? Get away from me! Oh! Oh! Huh. Well then. Hello, Gregory. This is Gil. You first. Well, Lamar. Nice to hear your voice too. Has it been there for? Yes, we must. Thursday. Oh, Thursday, I... Listen. Oh! Oh! Easy, Joseph. Easy. Mm -hmm. Easy, Joseph. What can you tell me about his teeth? Easy. I'm still not figuring out how I, how I sell your death. Still not, still not really sure how I'm gonna get away with it yet. But I have a couple ideas. If you're down to workshop with me, I was thinking maybe I'd punch you so hard you fly down the fucking elevator shaft and break your neck and every bone in your body. Uh, what do you think about that? Is that one that you think is good? Because I'm kind of- I'm kind of workshopping that one right now, actually, if you're willing to, like, come out here and test it with me. Oh! Get the fuck up. This only works if you get the fuck up, Joseph. You work hard for your money. So Joseph, I need you to get up. Just ask your work about our paycheck and come on. Program, and we'll take care of the, rest. the way I'm telling this story, I think what's gonna happen is you're gonna trip. Trying to open a jar of what is this? Assorted nuts. Here's how it happened. 
You were trying really hard to open some nuts! How the hell am I gonna get him down there? I need something with more oomph. Oh yeah, I have a ballistic vest. That'll do it. Just need to get a little bit closer to the image. That's all. If I... Hang on. This might work. <laughs> One of the heads of the Hydra severed! One of the heads. Gone. Is he gonna be on the elevator coming up? Ain't no way. Jesus fucking Christ. He lived? Ain't no way. There's no way he lived. Dude, he fell 15 stories. He fell 15 fucking stories. He didn't live. There's no way. His body is crumpled up at the bottom of the basement down here. His dead body is going to be down here in the fucking sewer. No, 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 no. We're going back up. We're going back up. We're going to take the elevator back up. How the fuck is he alive? He'd be taking the stairs up. We'll see him taking the stairs if he's alive. That wasn't him. He's dead. He has to be. He has to be. I killed him. And I need a snack. What is it, my... Hang on. Oh, the rifle. Drop that. That's nothing to me. What the fuck? You need to succeed. Starch cola. What's wrong with me? Am I? What's wrong with me? There's something wrong with me. I don't know what's going on. That dude's supposed to. There's a dead body there. It's supposed to be a dead body. Maybe I just need some sauce. Yeah. I just, I just need some pick a pepper sauce to get some pep in my step. Oh my guts! Oh, that just ripped up my guts! Oh, that just really chewed up my guts! Oh boy, that's just like drinking, that's just like drinking barbecue sauce. That's all that is. That's not even that good. That's not good for you. Uh, yeah, I'll tell you what I need is a quick, uh, Little drink. Wash it down with something. Hey, 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 take it easy, Duchess. Who 
Yeah, we just stake out the place for a little bit. We'll stake out the place. If, if Joseph is truly still alive, he's gonna come back to his house. It's his fucking house. We'll just wait for him to come in and then I'll fucking kill him. Right? 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 Wait. He works nights Friday through Sunday. What day is it today? He should be here. He's gotta be dead. I killed him. I killed him. I just need food. I'm hungry. Oh, whoa. I need a snack. I'm gonna take the stairs down. If somehow Joseph is still alive, I'll run into him on the stairs and I'll fucking break his neck. But first, I'm gonna break into this person's house and get some food. Hang on. You have some food? Sorry about that. Hang on. Oh! <sighs> you got food? Yeah, you do. Don't mind me. Thanks, you old piece of shit. Starch Cola. Better get some pep in your step. Go fuck yourself. No pep POV. <laughs> where is Joseph? I better see a fucking body somewhere on this staircase from where he crumpled and disappeared from the realm. Like. <laughs> I shouldn't have taken the fucking elevator. I should have ran downstairs. His body probably got all glitched up. I didn't kill that lady. She's alive. I would have had to have like, like actually... Dude, am I hungry again? I just ate food. I guess I'll eat here. Got food? Only synth meat. Yuck. It's bad. I don't really have money. 92. To okay, I could actually just buy food. Guess I'll just go buy some. I wish I could see in color, but my character's like fucked from starvation and thirst. Look, we need to cool down, chat. We've been. Running around like psychos for days now, trying to... Trying to... That's Linus, that's not my guy. This whole place is a goddamn ghost town now. What is this? Oh, that's a fucking diamond. I'm just gonna go sell that, I think. Uh, hang on, that's gonna actually really help me, help me with uh, my money. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna take that to a pawn shop. Uh, one second. All right. You're worse than 95% of criminals. That's a fucking lie and you know it. All right. Pawn shop. How do I, uh, what, what's the name of it? What's the name of a, uh, one of those shops, chat? I need a place I can sell stuff to. Because I don't think Pawn did it. Book symbol. Well, I need to know what the name of it is so I can actually track it. Oh, 
I'm here. Booksible, 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 booksible. There's not one booksible in the entire goddamn city. Where, pray tell? Oh, yes. Plot root. I'll just quickly sell this stolen diamond. And I'll purchase some food afterwards, and then... I'll be able to see in color again, and then... I'll be able to find my holy... Shit, my guy is shaking bad. My guy is a mess right now. I, I am not good. I'm not okay. Chad, I'm starting to think I might not be... All together, you know what I mean? I'm starting to think there might be something wrong with me, you know what I mean? Why? Dude, I'm dying out here! What time is it? I'm literally dying out here. It's 10 a.m. When do you open? I'm gonna die. No. Hey. Listen, I need to drop some. <laughs> what is this? I can never get away. I just can't get away. I don't even know who's alive that still works here. That's the worst part about it all. Fine, I'll pay my medical bill. At least then they'll feed me. Hey, what a beautiful day for it. Mm -mm -mm. Did they take my diamond? Did they take my fucking diamond, though? No. Nowhere to run. That's the kind of the problem with it. So, um... Yep. Mm-hmm. Ah! No. No, this must have happened to me. Not like this. Not like this. Not like this! Am I bleeding? No, I'm just bruised. I didn't even care about that lady. I just wanted the freaking money. Oh, they're dead. I didn't kill them. To be very clear. He's sobbing. Jesus, man. Relax. That was awkward. What do you call it? You are the police, you idiot. You fucking idiot. What are you, stupid? You are the cops. Moron. Idiot. Um, um, hello, uh, hello, 911. 911, hello? Yeah, I'm here. I would like to call and let. Huh. Okay. If I just keep calling police to my location, then I kill them. <laughs> Will I eventually never be held accountable for my actions anymore? I've never seen someone so bad at this game. Uh, the difference between being bad at it and goofing around in it. These are very different things, I think. Uh, I've not exactly been trying to solve cases. Wow, 
Why would I install a mod that lets me actually kill characters and then not use it? To be a silly guy. That confused me. Also, a uh, huge complaint about the uh, enforcer um, speed here. No one's coming to actually like arrest me right now and I just self-reported myself. Um, what's going on with that? Hello? You killed them. Hmm. Damn it, it's fucking cold. Again. Hang on. Move. If I upgrade this, I'll make even more money for shilling soda. Get up. Hey. Hey, you. You. Yeah, you. Hey. 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 You look like you could use a can of starch cola. Put some life into it. Three dollars. You have a good one, man. Does this place ever open? I wasn't gonna pick this open. I wasn't gonna do that. But I will break my way in. Through the vents. Just have to get into this building. I have to I have to actually break my way into the pawn shop so I can wait for them to open some That works. Now where? I really cannot believe that this door was unlocked. I'm so sorry. Dude, you wanna know what's the hardest thing about this game? With like the slight lag there is now. <laughs> my character really struggles to throw things in rapid fire to kill someone and it's happening a lot because whenever I throw something, I'm like queuing up an inspection now. That's why I keep inspecting people when they go down instead of double throwing like I'm trying to. Get up. I'm giving up on the diamond. I don't need it. One more thing distracting me from severing the heads of the Hydra. Wow. When is someone going to solve this crime and move this body out of here? Like, this thing is rotten at this point. Like, there's actually, like, it is a fucking mess. Hello. Don't shoot me. So I have to operate on a on an assumption at this point, chat, that that guy is dead. Joseph Kelly is fucking gone, which means now he's have to go get June McKenzie. Joseph Kelly is dead. They are gone. That's what you think. Do I really have to do another trip to Joseph Kelly's place to double check? <sighs> really? Chat. This dude is- he- He fell down a fucking elevator shaft. Like, 15 floors. Where's the newspaper? I'll just buy a newspaper. Is that psycho chasing me with a fucking gun? One newspaper, please. I have zero dollars to my name. Hey, would uh, you consider purchasing a starch cola? Put some life into it. 
What a shill. Okay. I don't have anything I'm going to buy from you, but would you consider buying starch? Okay. I just have to get two, pe like, fucking people to buy starch cola, and then I'm good. Starch cola? Shill. Okay. Uh... That dude actually wouldn't even let me talk to them. Starch, start. Okay, they, three dollars right there. Just need enough to buy a newspaper so I can know. Fucking hell, these people. Hey, nice. All right, we got there. Buy a newspaper and then I'll know uh, what's going on. They'll tell me maybe if that guy is dead. Okay, let's see here. Let me just get somewhere warm because it's fucking cold out here. Let's see. Linus Larson, 23, brutally slashed to death by a bladed weapon. That does not, uh... That does not, um, include, uh, my guy. Linus Larson was the guy at the bottom of that fucking elevator shaft, but it's not my guy. You gotta be kidding me. We have to take one more trip to Ibaka Grove. Not even a front page murderer. Dude, I have killed like 20 people. At this point, it's old news. It's like, it's it's starting to get boring probably for the people of this city to read about me. All right? Because I've killed many a person. Dude, I am one step away from disabling cold in this game. <laughs> I don't know why it's been so chilly in this town lately, but it's starting to get annoying with how much my character's shaking. There we go. No one can, like, go home. There's, like, a huge pack of people outside that none of them can actually get to their house. Is that a cop? Who is that? I don't know who that is, but it's not my guy. That's Linus. Still dead as a doorknob. Not moving an inch. I cannot believe I'm back up here again. Goddamn fucking Joseph Kelly. Jet, we just gotta do this clean one more time. I've got a diamond here, a pure diamond. I'm gonna use it to bludgeon Joseph Kelly to... Not my guy. I'm gonna use it to bludgeon Joseph Kelly to death. I'm gonna spike it right into his face and it's gonna shatter his skull. Because it's a diamond, it's so hard. Diamonds, you see. I'm walking up all 15 floors because Joseph Kelly, last time I fucking came around these parts, slipped by me somehow, so I'm not gonna miss that chance again. I'm gonna walk all the way up all eight floors. All the leftover floors I still have to climb, I'm gonna walk them up. I'm not gonna miss him again. And this time, he's dead. He's dead! This is it for him! Joseph Kelly. Are you in? Did you hear that? Just two payments left and it's Did you hear that? I heard a door open. Maybe it was just in my head. Chat, I think Joseph is gone. Chat. I think Joseph is gone, gone. Chat. You've got to respect- we got to accept reality that Joseph is dead. They're gone. Poof. 
We exi- We didn't just kill Joseph. We sent him beyond. We threw him so hard down that elevator shaft that then when they hit the bottom, they fucking backroomed. Or we isekai'd him. One or the other. Which means our next destination is now... Wow, my social credit's not great, huh? Well, whatever. That, that doesn't mean anything. That doesn't matter. Which means our next destination is June McKenzie. Next on my list. 1201 Vincent Sweets. Should I call the police so they can set up a crime scene up here? What the? Oh. Oh. Nah. Check the top of the elevator. What do you think? He somehow got smushed? Like all the way to the top. I, he went, I saw this thing go up. Nah, he, it's. No, 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 no. This place is haunted. Yeah, this place is. This place is a mess, Chad. The best thing we can do for this place now is leave. And not come back. Alright? Excuse me. What the? <laughs> Alright! Vincent Sweets, 12th floor landing! Fucking hell, it's cold. This must be the place. Twelfth floor landing. These mailboxes suck because it doesn't have like the number of like the... Oh wait, this one does. Some of these just say mailbox. Where, where did they? 201 Vincent, 1201 Vincent Suites. Hang on, I'm gonna go through their mail before I fucking get them. Yeah, some of these just don't have any address attached to them, so I guess that means no one uses them? Yeah, I guess it means there's just not one using them. 1201 Vincent Suites. Don't bind me. God damn it. It's kind of awkward to do this. Quickly now. And now, I've not only been killing people, but I'm committing fe- Never mind, there's nothing in there. It would have been a federal crime had there been anything in there, but there wasn't. So I didn't do anything wrong this time. 12th floor! It's time. Now, which one of these is my person? 1201. Are they home? <laughs> you have no idea how screwed you are. You're gonna die. Actually, it's really cold in here, and there's actually no way into your house from this vent, so I'm actually gonna crawl back out. That was a big mistake. This was a huge mistake, actually, doing this. It's really fucking cold. I'm gonna end up dying. Let me out. Jesus. Oh, I need some water. I put my mouth right to the nozzle. Start slurping. I slurp. 
Hey, Ray. I guess it's time to use the original plan. This tech is actually fucked up. Hi, June McKenzie. I mean, I don't know who you are. Um, first of all, uh, are you interested in starch cola? What a shill. June, do you mind if I take a look around? Not a chance. Okay. What's your name? Not telling you, it's okay. I already know it. Uh, have you seen or heard anything unusual? Nothing? Really? As if you'd tell me. Do you know this person? Mind your own business. Oh, okay. Uh, you got any money? Not going to happen. Jeez. Well, goodbye. You have a you have a nice talking to you. Yeah, nice talking to you too. You have a you have a good one, June. For real. It's um just cough in my face. Damn it. Anyone live in this house? Anyone else in here? I'm just gonna turn on the gramophone quick, do you mind? Damn shame how this played out. You know, you're gonna end up famous on the news. Mm hmm. Where's my ketchup I just picked up? No, I got ketchup for this. There we go. Mm hmm. Yep. This is gonna be my most gruesome crime yet. Believe it or not, I don't even think this can kill you. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> what a horrible creature I am. I'm just terrible. Uh, alright, well, um, I've had just about enough of it. Oh! 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 What the? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Who the hell are you? You were not supposed to be present for this. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it, this has gotten out of hand! Pretty quick! What am I gonna do about this? It's not supposed to... Hmm. Well, um... I guess I'll just... Yeah, I mean, I, it really actually changes nothing. Hang on. Wait, why are they not... Why aren't you dying? Well, they're not dying. Why are these people not dying? There's some kind of... Some kind of sick medical... <laughs> some kind of sick medical experiment or some shit. Dude, June actually just punched me so hard I almost died. <laughs> what the fuck is up with this lady? She's huge! June, just relax! Ow! My fucking hands! <laughs> I'm actually bleeding! I'm ble you know what's the wildest thing about all this? I think I've killed so many people that the game doesn't know how to make an actual crime for me to solve anymore. Because it's been like a hundred years since I had an actual crime. I've been killing time is what I've been trying to do. But the game won't give me any actual crime to solve. <laughs> because I think I just keep making them. And the game is like question marking. Maybe I've been getting serial killers. Maybe I've been killing... Killers, you know what I mean? Here's what we do. Uh, we do the old classic, uh, sleep for like a million hours. We just want to sleep for a million hours until a crime actually happens, a real one. Right? Uh, 
<laughs> at this point, it's a miracle. The city hasn't put you down while you sleep. Well, chat, here's the thing. All other crime is down, chat. Think about it. Think about it like this. All other crime in the entire city is wildly down. Chet, did they start putting plywood boards on the windows? Is this place closed? <laughs> Are they like boarding this place up with me in it? Am I being fucking... <laughs> Am I being casked of a Montelliato? Jesus, it takes forever to fast forward time in this game too, I swear to God. And like things are slowing down. Pull out the clock. I don't even know what I set the alarm to, dude. We could be here a thousand years. lightning outside. Is it storm or something? <laughs> Status found it necessary to entomb you. I haven't done that much wrong. Chat, every single person I've killed had some psycho, like, shit in their house anyways. Aside from Linus. Linus didn't do anything wrong. Oh. Time to get up. I didn't do anything crazier than anyone else. Fucking Waldo looking ass motherfucker still dead in the lobby. Why are there 80 people in the bathroom? Why God? I have no money, so they can't charge me. Is that a new one? No, this is... No, no. Dude, I'll... The second a real crime comes in, you know I'm gonna solve it. But it's just like... Come on. What the heck and heck am I gonna do with... Jesus Christ. I mean, City Hall is, um... People just go here for the bathrooms now, it turns out. Um... <laughs> what just happened? Holy shit! Good evening. That's a crime, I should kill that guy. Damn. How's it going? You, uh... You look like you could use a starch cola. Okay, fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. Hey, buddy. Oh, he, that was the same guy. Hey, you look like... People are going... Or, dude! I can't handle it anymore. Or it's cold. Off. This is an annoying fucking status. It's fucking annoying me at this point. I can't walk outside without just shaking. It's cold every 10 seconds. And then the snow stops. What the fuck? Chat, that felt like some fucking like horror movie shit. The snow stopped and there was no one else on the street. And I just saw like a shadow in the distance cross the street without moving an animation. This road looks haunted. Huh. Maybe I just go into a diner and uh, pick up a job or two. 
course, picking a diner to actually go into is kind of hard. Half the buildings on this goddamn block have murder scenes in them. There's gotta be a diner on one of these corners I can pop into. Uh-oh. Huh? Oh. Damn, I mean, honestly, I'm gonna give the game some credit for 17 or 1800 civilians and it's not crashed. Any jobs? Any odd jobs? Hang on, this place is good. This is it. Dude, my dude is tragically starving every 10 seconds. Job listing, job listing, job listing. Let's try this one. Photography skills required. I have photography skills. Ask staff for crawl. Ask the staff about crawl. Uh, well, there's an issue with that right now, is that there's no staff. Huh. Couldn't figure out what the hell was going on. It said I would have to ask the staff about Crowell, but there was no staff. I decided to take a look around. Does anyone work here? The fridge was empty. Weird. But there was... Truly no signs of anyone being in here in a couple days. I decided to help myself to... Some of their food, because I honestly was really hungry. I made a real noise about it, hoping that maybe someone would storm in and ask me what the hell I was doing, and then I'd be able to ask them about Crowell before they kicked me out. I'm starting to think, chat, with how hungry my character is from weeks and weeks of spiraling through, like, getting killed over and over again on that bed, that I am actually, like, my stomach has become a black hole and it's impossible for me to fully feed my character ever. I've eaten four cans of food, and my dude is starving. Can I eat salt? No. Fuck. Hello? I'm trying to ask about, uh... Crowell. Crowell? Is there any work here? Am I going to have to hunt down someone who works at this building in order to ask them about this? I can. Hang on. Who's the owner? Sous chef, bar staff, bar staff, head chef, retail owner. Penelope Murphy. Well, Penelope. <laughs> I guess if no one's working here, I guess I'll have to ask you about Cromwell. The only way I know how. Ah! Who the fuck are you? Who is this? Okay. I'm gonna kill you. One more fucking body. Added to the goddamn pile, dude. Let's tango. Come on, let's go. Let's fucking go. Who the fuck is this? They're not dead. I didn't kill them. And I'm not going to. Speed Street Drugstore, Lars Thompson. This guy owns a drugstore next door. Thanks for the cash. Hi. Wait a minute. Drugs are a crime. I have beat the shit out of him and he's still alive. How's that happening? How is he? Huh. Well, oh, bye.
Do you work here? Hang on. Do you work here? What's your... What's your name? De Dylan who? Do you want starch cola? No, okay. Uh, you don't work here, do you? Okay, I guess it's my turn on the toilet. Thank you. I can't open the door. Where the fuck are the employee? Dude, I will kill this guy. If Lars makes any more of a scene around me, I will break his goddamn neck. Where is he? Okay, chat. I know what we have to do now. Simply, all I have to do to get this job done is hunt down Penelope Murphy retail owner's house. Easy. M. Murphy, 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 Murphy. Mur okay. P. Murphy. Lynch Sweets. Okay. Penelope Murphy. I wish it didn't have to go like this, but, uh... I'll just ask you when I get to your house where, um... Where Cromwell is. She'll understand. Right? Chat. They're gonna understand. I was gonna buy food while I was there, too, so they, like, doubly inconvenienced me. Oh, I can buy some food at this place. Do you work here? No one wants to work anymore because everyone thinks that there's like a fucking state of emergency because there's a psycho serial killer killing everyone and it's me. There's not even anyone working at the... What the fuck is going on over here? Excuse me. I'm graying out from the lack of food, but no one sells food anymore because I've... I've convinced everyone on this fucking... Goddamned... Dude, is everyone slowly gravitating towards the places I'm going as destinations? What's happening? They're like... Flocking. What's happening? Someone's got, like, access to my GPS, and they're like, If we all go together, he can't kill us! After what happened to Joseph, they've all started to use their brains. They're thinking together now. They're starting to put two and two together. They all know what I did. I don't even want to hurt Penelope, I just want to talk. Joseph answers the door. That would actually be horror game shit. That's not anyone I know. Hi. Uh, evening. What's your name? None of your business. Do you know where Penelope is? Um, do you know this person? That's where Joseph lives. Okay, I was actually wondering if I asked them about Joseph, is if he'd say he saw them somewhere new. That's where he lives. No, that doesn't mean Joseph lives, that's where he last saw him. Goodbye. Dude, I just need to talk to Penelope. I need- I need this guy to not be the person who answers, so I have to kill this guy, so I can- so Penelope will come answer the door. Dude, there's no water in any of the water coolers. I'm starting to realize- the side effect of this city being so big and also me murdering everyone is that no one's doing anything. Society is broken down. I've destabilized the entire ecosystem.
Does Penelope even live here? Yes. Sorry about this, man. I need her to answer the door, not you. Okay. I just want to ask her where who Crom who, who who Cromwell is. That's all. Hi. Oh, sorry for your loss. Uh Penelope, one where are your eyes? <laughs> Am I in a horror game? Is this like my character fucking actually realizing that he's in purgatory? Do you- I, Hi, Crow, Crowell, I'm here about the job. Here about that job, huh? Yes. Yeah, somebody needs a photograph taken of Sequina Garvin. Okay. The poster said to slide it under their door when done. Okay. Thanks. Fucking idiot. Sequina Garvin. I can find Sequina Garvin. <laughs> oh. We can find Sequina Garvin. It actually would be way easier just to use her house to look it up. Hang on. Back up. Go back up. It's gonna run up. Way faster, just like I'm already. Her house is already half cleared. I'll just fucking look it up there. Find them. It's gonna be faster. Just turn off hunger and thirst at this point. I think they're bugged. Like chat, like genuinely, I think they're. Bu I think it's bugged. Like I can't buy food anymore. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of just want to turn it off just so I can have color back. Will that fix my color? Maybe? Maybe not. Wait, 18th floor. It's psycho vision. You think I have psycho vision? I'm not a psycho. Oh, you're dead. Oh wait, no, you're alive. You're just unconscious. Don't mind me. I just need you to use your phone. Is that a wallet? Huge. Where the fuck is your phone? Is that a gun? Jesus. Where do they keep their phone? Oh, at least I'll know when they're starting to get up. What was the name of this person? Sequina Garvid. So G. Vincent Sweets, locked on. Let's fucking roll. You have a good day. What the hell was that about? Weird. But none of my concern. Dude. You're a little late. <laughs> You're a little late, officer. Drop grumble. That's another one. What's one more kill? One more, dude. Just one more little kill. Oh, fuck. I lived. See, that's why I open every door. You guys thought I was gonna die. But you were wrong. Hey. There's 2,000 people in the city. Nobody's gonna miss one more death. 
True, dude. True. True. Excuse me. Here we are. God damn it, I can barely see color. Can't even walk down the darn street anymore. People are talking about my horrible crimes. Let me check the news. Maybe my newspaper's been updated. You think this get like this new news of me? You think that Oh, I can actually get food and water from here. A little bit late now. I know the newspaper. Who the fuck is Luli Han? Dude. Did I just watch a newspaper update right in front of me? No apple today. What the? Huh. Horrifying sight this evening was the murder of local citizen Ryuki MacArthur. It just updated again. What the fuck? Who the fuck is Ryuki MacArthur? I'm not the Miyazaki murderer. I am, but like, I, I don't know who's killing these. I don't know who that guy is. Like, I feel like I've known the names of the people I killed to some extent. I don't think I got that guy. I think I'm getting framed. Like, I, yeah, I've killed quite a few of them, but I don't think I got all of them. This is the place. So I just have to take a picture of this person? That's really easy. Okay. Twelfth floor. That's a really easy thing to do. I have my camera right. Where's my fucking camera? Why is it not bound? Find it, please, or I'm gonna think I lost it. All right. We got this. He's actually going crazy. No, I'm gonna do this job right, and then uh, people can't say that all I did was act like a fucking idiot the entire stream. Is what's going to happen. I'll have you know. You're about to see. Me do this job. Go on now. Answer the door. Gotcha, idiot. Unless that's not you. Hey, what's your name? As if I tell you, come on. Can I come in and take a look around? Okay. Okay. I tried doing it the easy way. Uh, do you have a wallet? What the fuck is the layout of this place? I just need a wallet. I just need to know uh, your ID. I'll just inspect, I guess. You got a wallet on you? No? And who the fuck doesn't keep their wallet on them? What if you needed it? Hitchbook, some bullshit. A actual just floating sword. I mean, oh, there we go. Who the fuck is this? <laughs> uh, just give me one second here to conf uh, compare some uh, some stuff. Where's that photo I took? I don't think I got the right one. God fucking damn it. Just some random guy. Do I have the wrong address? Where the fuck is... What? Who am I even at? Sequina Garvin. 
It's really pissing me off. I'm so sorry. Hang on. Garvin. Garvin, Garvin, Garvin. Sequina Garvin. Yeah. 1202. Where is Sequina Garvin? This is the only time I'm asking you this. And then it's the blade. I mean, the blade. The blade. Do you understand? Where are they? I need to take a picture of them. Cut him, boss. Cut him. I'm not gonna cut him. I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna cut him. Alright, I need one W. Why is the Queen of Garvin not here? Do you really want to see what happens when I get angry? Do you really want me to get angry? I swear to God I'll get angry. Is this your Mima's favorite urn? Ah! I didn't think they'd be up. That was Mima. Oh. They locked me in. You fucking asshole. Oh, wait, I have the key. I'm gonna have to look up their work rota. Do you mind? Don't. Don't. How many times do I have to teach you this lesson? And I have another antique vase ready to go when you decide you want to wake up again. Uh, the, wait, so where the hell's your work rota? Just gotta find that. I just need to find some information. Ain't no way they're already getting up. Okay, no, we're good. Sequina, remember your passcode this time. 9332. Big fucking mistake. 9332. What a fucking idiot. Just stay down. What is... Dude. There is no office PC in this building. Chat. What the fuck is this room? Guess I'll try it on the safe. Did I mistype it? Chat? Are we entering some kind of sick purgatory? Like, uh, this ain't- something's off about all this. Like, something's like actually like getting really unsettling about the- the layout and like design of this entire place. Like, buildings don't make any sense anymore. The fucking newspaper updates with my kills live. With some ones I don't even think I- I got? I'm gonna fucking kill you if you keep chasing me! I have a sword! What were you fucking thinking? Where is your goddamn- This isn't even a real TV. This isn't even a real- Wait, yes it is. He got his good. I stuck him in the guts! Gives a man time to think when he buys it that way, you know? Flopping around like a catfish there on the floor. Made a whole lot of noise. Uh, 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 he couldn't help himself. See, you see, when folks know they ain't got many words left, they gotta get them all out at once. Secrets ain't no good when the rats are chewing on your tongue. <laughs> you should have heard him, Gil. Oh, he spilled gold. Crows dropping right out his mouth. Now, if you would have seen me doing that nice voice of yours. What a fucked up day. How'd you like that one? You don't get it, do you, Duchess? You think your pal Lenny's gonna come get you? He's up there even now with the commissioner on the 34th floor, sipping French champagne. I'm so, um... Gonna join him. Do you know when Sequina Garvin's gonna be home? Do they even live here? Or are you actually some kind of sick, like, weird purgatory I'm stuck in? Bon voyage! <laughs> uh, 
There's nothing on this calendar. There's nothing on the calendar, chat. Chat, there's nothing on any of the calendar. Is there any food in the fridge? Since meat. Oh, a newspaper. Huh. Maybe it's an older one. Surely it, ha it has to be. Hang on. Chat. I kind of need to test something. I'm going to give it a couple seconds. If that newspaper pops up with their fucking name on it, we're in hell and we've been dead this entire time since the first time our character died. I've been zonked out on birth control this whole time, chat. Oh, no, it's still saying Ryuki MacArthur. We're okay. We're good. We're good. Yeah, I'm, turns out I'm just a psycho. Chat, I just figured it out. Turns out I'm just a psycho. Because that newspaper says... Ryuki MacArthur. We're good. I am A-OK. -okay. Now, I am still confused where the PC is that that code's talking about because it doesn't, uh, doesn't exist. Wait. Is that a smog? I need the fucking information for... There it is. Angel Wings Company Accountant Sakina Garvin. We got him. How the fuck did he know? How the fuck did he know? Awful lot of strange stuff going on in this place, Jeff. There's one constant we know right now, and it's that, uh... As long as this newspaper doesn't update with the name of the person who bought it, then, uh, we're good. This is our only anchor to reality right now. This is our only anchor. Let's go take that picture of Sakina before I fucking snap. Before? <laughs> yeah, before. Before I snap. Newspaper check. Sakina Garvin. I'm not supposed to kill her. I know that. She's supposed to take a picture. Hey, uh, are you Sakina Garvin? Okay. I'm Emily. Do you know where Sakina is? 
You just said what your name is. You can't, like, lie to me now. Hey, are you Sakina Garvin? Oh, nice. That's convenient. That's convenient. Okay, uh, do you mind if I just... If I just... We got it. Okay, uh, was there any... I guess I'm done then. Uh, I got a picture of him. That's it. Yep, now I just go hand it in. Would... <laughs> It'd be really psycho if I murdered Sakina Garvin right here and took a picture of them dead. And then gave that to the person and they just like... <laughs> Dude, that'd be psycho. That'd be actually psycho. If someone's like, I need you to take a picture of Sakina Garvin for me. I'm like, yeah, you got it. And I just send them a picture of their fucking dead body. And... No, nah, I wouldn't do that. I'm not a psycho. But that would be. Hey. Wait. Huh? You want a can of starch cola? Do you work here? Can I buy food from you? I don't... Let's just hand in the picture. I need to hand in the picture. Post findings under the door at 1402. The paper, I should... I should check the paper. You're right, I should check the paper. A horrifying sight this afternoon was the murder of local citizen Zhang Lang Kui, 52, who was found brutally slashed to death by a bladed weapon at 1202 Vincent Suite. The Miyazaki murderer continues to terrorize the city. Why are you all looking at me? Don't you have fucking jobs? What the? Chat, that person ran out looking like one thing and then became a, a totally different person. What the fuck is... What the? What? Huh? Did you see that? Did you see that? I need to... Chat, the pictures don't matter. I need to go to the newspaper company. Who runs the news? Who runs the news? <laughs> How do they know all of this? How do I find the news? <laughs> I just gotta check the paper. The Miyazaki Herald. Okay. Those two are walking right for me. They don't exist. Miyazaki as a town doesn't exist. None of this is real. None of this is real. It doesn't matter if I hand in the picture because it doesn't. It doesn't, it doesn't matter because none of it was real. I deliver this to the 14th floor. But the 14th floor doesn't exist! <laughs> there is no 14th floor! Oh.
Just gotta hand this in, or I lose it. 14th floor, please. 14th floor, please. 14th floor, please. I hope this serves as a helpful lesson to all of you. To not down five fucking boxes of birth control pills. What death was that one? Dude, I'm scrolling by people's, like, bodies that I don't remember killing anymore. I'm seeing murder scenes I don't recognize. I, this place is starting to get a little... Was I... What's happening? Except the... Except the case finished processing. Go on now. Oh. It's lagging my game. Finishing that mission actually lagged my game. It may have crashed when I handed it in. Oh. Ah. Ah. Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. 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 What's happening to me? Oh. Solved. 100 social credit. Bro! <sighs> you know you're gonna end up on the news. You know that, right? Just like all the others. They're all gonna end up on the news. Every last one of them is gonna end up on the goddamn news. Oh! 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 You're all gonna be famous! Oh, hey, Rob Bez. <laughs> Thanks for the raid. I was actually literally about to end. This game is broken down. <laughs> I don't think this world works anymore. I think I broke it. I think I broke it. I'm not paying that. Yeah, we were playing uh, Shadows of Doubt with a mod that lets you kill anyone and they just die i don't even know what's happening anymore it started to become some kind of sick and twisted shithole where people don't go to work anymore and they stare at you people just stare at you from like the the road no one does anything and i this newspaper updates with the people i've killed despite the fact that I picked it up before I killed the person who lived in the house that's in it right now. This newspaper was in their house. And it said on it that they died. I've snapped. I finally lost it. There's usually about 18 people in the bathroom. What is this place? What is this city? <laughs> this isn't a bathroom! This is two sinks! <laughs> Why? Why is it two sinks? <laughs> we need to- Oh! 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 Get away from me! I'm cool, I'm cool. Stop. Everyone stop.
What a mess. Kill count 17? I wish I could tell you my kill count, dude. I really don't know. At a certain point, I lost track. Uh, I started this with the intention of being a well-meaning detective, an enforcer of the law, but then people started pushing me around. And now look at me. I'm a psycho. sword. Jeez. Man, the news is gonna really lose their mind on this one. The news is really gonna lose their mind this time, chat. No doubt. Let's take a look. Ah. Me when I play Blade and Sorcery. <laughs> Says a chat member. Where am I? Chat, when I had this angle like this, I half expected to turn my camera and just see that they had walled me in. Like this wall made it look like I was actually walled into a room with just two windows and nothing else. I was ready for that to be it. Dude, it has to be over. I had fun. Checking out the game for a bit longer. Obviously, this was a goofy one where I didn't really go in with the intention of, like, uh, like uh, progressing a ton of the plots or anything, or the uh, d detective part. I just wanted to fuck around with the murder mod because I was like, just seemed fucking stupid. So I had a good time. I'm sorry if you were going into it expecting me to like play the detective part, but don't worry. Uh, next time we actually play this with like a real map when it's got like real updates. Uh, I'll get into that shit. Don't worry. But I want- I just wanted to fuck around. I just wanted to fuck around. I'm probably taking tomorrow off. I think tomorrow is gonna be a day off for me. But, um, maybe I'll stream. I don't know. I might, but it's probably gonna be tomorrow off. Um, anyways, thanks for the gifted subs and the donations and the bits. I appreciate it as always, Chad. Always very kind. Thanks, Rob Az, for the raid at the very end. Uh, it's been a pleasure. It really has. Coming back for America Day? I might, uh, I'll probably do America Day stream if I take tomorrow off. Um, especially considering on this PC I should be able to actually play that Firework Simulator game again properly. Because that's like, I was really bummed I wasn't able to do more clips and like stream more of that last time. So we'll probably like 50-50 it like with something else in that. Because uh, I kind of, that was what I did last 4th of July and it was a good time. So I'll probably do it again. All right, chat. Thanks for coming on by. Thanks for hanging out. I will catch you all on the next one. It's been a pleasure. It really has. I'll catch you later. Goodbye.